All right. So the last spell, we're back. We're back to try again. Back to try again. We unlocked some new things. Um, do, 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 do. Last, I remember we played the first wave with these guys, but we haven't done more. And we're going to build a gold mine immediately. We're going to upgrade that immediately and work it. Collect the gold. Improve how many times you can work it. Work it in. Collect that gold. Now we have 40 gold, 100 production, 100 materials. Um, I mean, maybe we just remove this as well now. I can't remember what my start was last time. Didn't I manage to get... Right, if we scrap for gold, we can build one more gold mine. Dude, that's what we did and that's what we want to do again. Pantech, what's up? New game, it's so fun. It is fun. And yes, you're here at the start of this uh, fourth playthrough. That's beginning just now. What do I want to build? Want to go this time? Range, mage? Uh, we will see. We will see. It really comes down to what characters we evolve and what items we find. I think we kind of just take what we can get at this point. To be honest. Mm -mm -mm. So an attack is coming from there. I feel like building some defenses already could be nice instead of building like more walls. We have some automated walls now. It's nice. I guess we can build a mounted ballista here. Yeah, that's gonna do some damage. Equip your new gear. All oh, right, we got experience gain and reliability for someone. Um, daily mana region. Yeah, you have no daily mana region on Caspar because you're an insomniac. So maybe that's a good idea to give him. He actually only gets one, so we wouldn't get more value if we give it to her. Angelica. More wizards, more throne HP? Um, I think so. I don't know. Okay, here comes the attacks. Do, 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 do. Let's see, what do we do? You're so fucking fast, holy shit. Okay, propagation on the first target here is probably a good idea. We could just do this twice, I guess. That works. Could even go here though, and then, yeah. Bonk. She's so fucking fast. 
think it took Sing seven runs to beat. Hmm. Seven runs. We'll see if we can uh, if we can top that. It's not a competition. Not a competition, Chat. Okay, we can hit all of those guys and get that guy too. That's probably gonna kill him. We snipe a shot. It does kill him. Look at that ballista helping out. Uh, I think going here and then attacking will be your job. Do a mana attack for those two. You could go here. Oh my god. Good damage. this kill some of them free some of them Spread out the hits here. <clears throat> That's a big value shot over there. Big value shot, that's not what I want though. We need to kill this guy too. The sneakiness. Let's try and shoot him. Fuck. Shoot him again. He has to die. Hits here. Wow, guy, what's up, man? Also, do you remember how to say it? Oh. <laughs> never. I will never learn. 
No Geralt. I'm gonna do a, a hard G this time. No Geralt. Take me nine months. I refuse to learn. Trying to figure out how we want to do this. Probably just one more propagation here, honestly. Let me kill you. He dies. He does not die. Unlucky. Unlucky. This character is annoying, dude. The spear, because it doesn't have a 1 AP attack. It's all 2 AP. So if you have 5 AP, you're missing 1 AP every turn. It's a bit annoying. That guy. So we could make it in here and hit. Which would kill that guy and then damage them. It's good value. And then a propagation from here. that person I that seems to be the best we could do Standing on a nice line here from Mr. Spear guy. It's quite kind. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> we hit here. Good. Then go over here. Nuke that guy. Over here. Hit them. And run. How are you finding this? Never seen it. It's a good game. It is a good game. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I did enough of the normal attack. Um, sure. Okay, those are the last remaining guys, I guess. There's one more somewhere. Ten remaining. We shouldn't have to use any more mana. Should be done. Spear them. It really picks up with the unlocks. Yeah, it starts out a little bit slow, but the game, once you start unlocking more things, uh, adds a lot of a lot of meta progression and like stuff in between the game. Like now we have the gold mines, for instance, that uh, we recently unlocked, and that will allow us to do so much more. Um, and yeah, just in general. Now we get more rewards. Read this good? Always. Always, my friend. Attack from northwest and southwest. We have completed something. What was that? Rejoice. Are you pregnant? Seer building, ability to foresee glimpses of the enemy horde and repel the mist for a time. Oh, repel the mist sounds pretty good. I believe we were saving for something down here last time, weren't we? Oh yeah, here's generated with plus one AP. That's what we're trying to get. Yes, it has steady progression. That's what you were looking at just now, kinda. What's the steady progression? So this is our spear guy. Magic damage, resistance, health, uh, pretty bad stuff. Pretty bad stuff, let's roll here. Physical damage. We'll take that. Isolate it. It's only with that skill. I guess the accuracy is not bad, but I'm gonna roll. I'm trying to get the mana region for him. Didn't get mana region. So that sucks. That sucks, man. Maybe he's swift as the wind. Or maybe just cheer. Cheer is so useful. You gotta have cheer on some people. It's a very nice skill. 
physical damage increase. Uh, this is my archer, of course. So we do not want physical damage increase. Don't want any of these things. Uncommon block. Uh, also pretty garbage. Greed. Ah, we got health. Fucking garbage. Bad stuff. Mm, we could take mana region, I guess. You need some more. Let's have you have steady aim. And then our mage. Our archmage that we have, who's super fucking fast. The fastest character we ever had. Who has three different traits that all give speed, and one of them gives two speed. I don't know why, but this person is fucking going. Going fast. All of this is magical, right? Magic damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you are a mage, so. It should be. Critical power, reliability, stun chance. Mmm. -hmm. Let's do magic damage, and then maybe gumbo on this side a little bit. Crit power is not that good. Big accuracy, okay. It's good, don't miss. Propagation bounces could be okay. It does lower the damage on propagation, but you do have do have some propagating attack. More bounces on it would be nice. I think we go for that. Wooden longbow plus three. Pretty nice damage increase. We have a Tome of Secrets plus two with 10% crit power. Oh my god, those are some propagations on that shit on the Tome. Oh, it has a propagating attack that's not even. That's not even. Um, mana cost? One of the base attacks. Interesting. Okay, and what are these? These mana pants. I think we'll try the tome then. 10% crit power. We have a book. And we're gonna keep greeting, of course. What else is there to do but greed? It's not an attack, just a debuff. Oh, it's just a debuff? I see. I see, so this, this is only debuffing the enemy, but then you have lightning strike. Single target bolt, you have a fireball. Okay, fireballs like that. Big mana consumption on this mage now though, holy shit. A whole year following the great Wagamamer. <sighs> Thank you, Loop Garu. Appreciate the one year. <clears throat> Let's read an upgrade for our second gold mine. Uh, Sarkiv Nui, thank you for the prime sub.
start with our archer like here, I guess. He can easily run top <clears throat> if we need to go there and help. Um, I could have looked at gear, I guess, but we spent everything on gold mining instead. Let's fuck it. Fires twice per turn, assuming targets are available. Oh! <clears throat> I see. It costs gold to upgrade it. Looking out, or looking at the ballistas a little bit. Let's build a ballista there. That's good stuff, Serky. Very efficient. I'm glad you're using your Twitch Prime. Also liking the game? Yes, I do like the game. This is my fourth round by Sishnice. By Schnees. That's nice. How do you win the game? Thank you. Um so you you defend against knights, right? So this is like one knight. And um, you gotta survive, I think, 12 nights. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but I think 12. <clears throat> so we can target all these guys. So there's just a lot of fighting, honestly. Okay, all of this is potential kills. So let's just do ordinary hits then. Minus resistance, 20%. Ah. They're potential kills, but very low odds kills. Maybe we propagate this thing. Whatever. Use a fireball. Oh, I see it. Okay. The fireball seems to work. Cool, so the north is done. My long range archer. cheered my archer on it would maybe have killed this oh well all right this time we're gonna cheer you take one step down you can do it Fine ish. Are there any big bad bosses in this game? Um, I haven't gone far enough to find any, but there might be. Do I have not played super far yet though. There's this double attack there. Now up here looks spicy. Is it time for the big propagation? We could reduce their resistance first, but this lightning strike is strong as hell, dude. Holy shit, it does a lot of damage. Yeah, let me just see it. Okay. Not too bad. If 
for just Nick that I had? Mm, can't remember. Was it night seven? Six? I can't remember. I think seven. One main shining aside, no problem. Well, it's a little bit of problem, but it's not horrible. The damage is good. Mage is, uh. Mage is pretty okay. We're gonna run the old mana though on the mage. We have six more mana. And I used five mana on that turn alone. Mage casually using five mana per turn. Yeah, the maiden mana consumption on the mage is very high. Snipe these guys down. Maybe. Let's do this. He's isolated. Let's shoot him. Yeah, mana monka is indeed. Indeed, mana going low. Mana, we can just punch them. Eyes, one solution. Hello there, Wagga. How are you enjoying this new game? Hello, Bye, Dapper yeah. Sphinx. I like it. It's a good game. Thank you for subscribing, sir. Scared to go closer. Last shot on that guy. Okay, so we have fireball and we have lightning strike.
those guys are targets. Um, let's just do this here then. They're coming closer! That probably doesn't kill him. Huh, we gotta kill the speedy ones. It might kill him, I guess. Ah, oh, fuck it, we'll try it. It was five damage short. We can land a pretty juicy fireball. Gonna need it. Just stayed a little bit closer. So we could cheer. But you can run up here. Oh, we're leaving this guy to his own device right now. Because this place needs help. Is a valid target. Nice. Three more shots. Kill this guy. Good. <clears throat> yeah, South will need help next turn. South will be in need of help. Armor piercing hits. Okay, yeah, we can do this. Go in here. Kill both the armored guys. You found any fun builds? Um. I've had some fun, but I don't know if it's been very unique builds necessarily. I mean, we had a hand crossbow that went pretty nuts. Um, Casper, you have no mana region. Yeah, the knife. The knife was doing a lot of work. For sure. Really?
Okay, they are pretty slow, so try and kill this guy. Now you can shoot this guy as it's isolated. Extra damage. And you can go down here. This is early access, Swackner. up early again. I guess I am. Oops, why didn't I use my cheer ability? Because I always forget. 100% of the time. any more mana here Let's just kill them kill them ordinarily hey failure devil how are you doing these are the last two enemies now I'm gonna bite the wall a little bit that's fine by me don't like that wall anyway We did it, no panic. No panic, big rewards. Yeah, the new game is fun. This is a very fun game for sure. Oh, did we get two levels on Angelica? We did, two level ups, damn. Let's definitely do the AP thing now. So if we build an inn and rec recruit a new hero, we would actually have a hero with uh, extra AP. There we go, plus one action point. Oh, I don't think we had anything here. I shouldn't have clicked. Didn't have anything. Gold. An item. 9% physical damage increase. 26 armor. Resistance reduction. Resistance and dodge. Okay. Not too bad armor. Oh, plus skill range though. This is also plus skill range and 10% accuracy. Pretty cool boots. The lower speed, but do I care about speed that much? Is there any skill range I really want to increase range on though? We don't really need skill range on our characters. The book has really long range, or decent at least. I guess it's the spear guy, but we don't want to get minus movement points on him because he's slow. The accuracy is kind of nice, but I might go for this instead. Put this on the spear guy. Gives him some big armor, I guess. He got a rare physical damage increase and he just got physical damage from wildling armor so he's gonna have good damage daily mana region uncommon yes need some mana region on you finally 
Now you can regen mana. Slowly. But surely. Um, plus multi-hits is pretty cool for him. So his uh, spear ability can hit one more. Also never used his... This triple swipe? I don't really get how it works. Oh, right. It's big AoE like this. Jesus, that's big AoE. One in front of you, then three behind that, and five behind that. Holy crap. Yeah, I know propagation bounces are good on mages. But it could be good on this guy too. Hmm. Crag relation is good on melee guys. Well, this guy has minus HP regen though. He has minus 10 daily HP regen, so crag relation on his 8 HP regen is a little bit sad, I guess. It's worse on him than it would be on others, let's just say. I think Fatality. Fatality is pretty nice to have overall. As much as I forget to use it, it's still a pretty, pretty damn good ability. It's either that or like swift as the wind. Let's go fatality. How about our archer? Mm -mm. Probably... Probably want cheer actually. Want more people with cheer overall. I could also do cherry picking. Let's do cherry picking. Kill the people who are alone. Oh yeah, you're level up. Range damage, uncommon. Okay, yep. Yep, that's good. Plus two daily mana region. A oh, gamba. Skill range. She has insane range with this wooden bow though. I don't know. I don't know if range is actually better in mana region. Not fully convinced. I guess shooting far away is nice. Yeah, accuracy might be better actually. Let's just do accuracy. So we hit the Angelica with big level ups. Huge mana pool? Hmm. Resistance reduction actually good on this weapon on the book. I guess, but it's kind of niche, I suppose, if we're just gonna use it on the... Like, then we are then we have to have a book, basically. We're committing to it. It would make this ability more playable. So resistance reduction, is that towards, like... Everything? Or is it just magic resistance? <clears throat> Someone said everything yesterday. Yeah, let's go with mana pool on this. Then magic damage seems nice. 
I might roll on this. Accuracy is pretty good though. Uncommon accuracy. Not missing. <clears throat> yeah, let's try the resistance reduction, I guess. Oh, big mana region. Nice. Give you a chair ability even though you're alone for now. And thrifty. Thrifty, so you get some mana back. Um, okay. What do with our people? I think we... Greed. Work. Work again. All the gold. Give me gold. <laughs> well, we have one gold mine completely upgraded now. Got 25 more gold here, I think. Let's let's check what gear we have available. Could have done this sooner. Experience staff. What the fuck is this trinket? Minus experience gain, plus experience gain. Oh, plus two AP. But it costs three mana to do that. Oh, there's a mana trinket. Plus two daily mana, plus three mana. I like it. It's cheap too. Let's get that. Oh, now we are at plus five on uh, Caspar. Find epic items yet? No, not really. Not really. I mean, I had some decent items, but nothing that I think is actually epic. I haven't played very far, so we're still early on. We're still early in the game. <clears throat> Let's upgrade our housing. Then we can work more. Get more gold. Upgrade another housing. This red items that are epic. I see. Yeah, then I don't think I've found any of those. Just build two ballistas here, I guess. Regular ones. Nice spot for ballista. Bum, 
bum. Yeah, so we didn't heal mana. So we don't have too much mana, but she gets one mana back per turn. So she'll be able to lightning strike uh, like kind of indefinitely once per turn at least. I <clears throat> think we'll be fine. Yeah, I think we're ready. I can buy mana potion. Oh yeah, I guess I had enough gold for mana potion this time. Could have bought a mana potion. I like how both of these guys have cheer and then she's in the middle. Hmm, something is wrong about that. Did I play generals back then? I mean, command and conquer generals? Yeah. yeah. I played that. Oops. Am I walking like an idiot? Good thing we have a million move points. This tree block, dude. Um, I played like old, old XCOM. Oh, Ballista covering the flank. Feels amazing. Ba, 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 ba. Hmm. I do want to hit like this. And the question is, do I just do a multi hit? It's armor piercing, so we could kill that guy and this guy. All right, we had executes. Forgot we pick it. We pick it, we pick it. Ah, right, we, we gotta learn, you know. Gotta learn bit by bit. I don't like how the execute ability is hidden when you don't have a chance to do it. Like, I get that it's supposed to be kind of quality of life, that it appears and then you see that it's there and then you can use it. But it has the opposite effect on me. It's just never there. And it pops out for like a split second, but I don't have time to see that it's actually there. It should just be there, but grayed out and then highlight when it's, you know, because then I wouldn't forget about it all the fucking time. In my opinion. It's annoying as shit that it works that way.
Yeah, like Cheer is showing right now, even though there's nobody I can buff right now. So... What gives? Let's just help here, I guess, even more. Can move my archer over here. Might fight on this side next. Oh, Ballista saving my wall. Big propaganda. Big guy coming in. Can you snipe out this guy? You cannot. Wait, something blocking line of sight for you? What's blocking line of sight? Is it ballistas? Oh. No ballistas block line of sight. Kind of makes sense, I guess. I guess they're big. Hmm. We have execute ready. We could go in and execute that guy. We're still probably gonna double hit there, though. To try and kill him. So it doesn't really matter. my walls don't you dare touch my walls weren't those supposed to attack twice if you upgrade them with a the gold upgrade yeah <clears throat> but we didn't do that Bit of reason to panic here. Yeah, I know about the big spear ability, but we don't have a clean shot, so to say, for it right now. Might do this here to slow them down. Actually, just shoot that guy. 
And then run over here. Bum, ba -bum. Wait, can you stack cheer? Whoops. Can you cheer on someone multiple times? You can. Oh, you can cheer the same guy over and over. Okay. Interesting. He lived with one HP? You fucker. Probably won't kill with a punch here. 55 to 66, so yeah. Highly unlikely. Let's try anyway. Oh, I did it. We killed. Big punch. Yeah, punch plus execute would kill, I guess. We are, uh, yeah, kind of wishing we had that mana potion. Kind of wishing I bought a mana potion right now. D220, but it's not armor piercing or anything. Okay. Then we hit this guy. Ah, the one guy over here, too. Um, we don't have lightning for next time. We have fireball, though. I think we need to help a little bit more here, and then we run. Shoot one. These two we ignore. Yeah, maybe you run already, actually. Shoot there. Yeah. Let's run over here. Fucking hell, I knew he was gonna dodge. That's why I didn't shoot over here. I was like, maybe he will dodge and I need to use this stuff. I fucking knew it, man. Spear here, spear here. I guess. Longbow snipe shot ignores dodge by the way, but it uses one, one mana. 
Yeah. Yeah, true. But it's pretty sad that it, uh... Pretty sad that it uses mana, though. We want to use mana for this. Oh, we could cheer you on again. The double cheer. Need to forget. Need to forget. Need to remember. Wait, did he? He didn't hit my ballista, did he? No. This is fine. Oh lord, I wish I had one more propagate attack here, but I don't. Where is a mana potion when you need it? Completely out of mana. Ah! Yeah, I'm thinking I could leave him for the Ballista to shoot him. Just shoot this guy. Ooh, we still have a lot to take care of over here. Stuck if we go in here. Let's go here. That's a lot of enemies remaining. A lot of armored boys, too. Snipe shot is worth here. Maybe more than one even. I think it's this side too, but I think that's why just more fine. My magic is weakening. Oh no. yourselves ballistas oh no ballista didn't kill him no more aoe hits here um Kill the speedy guy.
you shoot just that guy, then this side is kind of fine now, right? Clean up. So we have quite a few attacks over here. Okay. Seems seems good. Execute is so useful, yeah, for sure. For sure, it's a really nice ability. Yeah, I know that, Lupuleasa. I am aware. It's quite decent. Oh, we can go in and punch. Our mage can punch. Punch! Why didn't the second ballista shoot? Hey! Don't hit my ballista! Only one ballista shot there, right? Ah, I guess because they're blocking vision for each other. Damn. So it's not so good to have them like this as I thought. Yeah, line of sight. Hmm, Thank you, Obento! My poor wall. Mounted Ballista shoots over other Mounted Ballistas, seems legit. Oh, they do, yeah. I suppose, because they have the... They have the no vision penalty thing. Holy fuck, we're so fast on our mage. There's no hiding from the mage. Another knight survived. I am enjoying the game, Jeremiah. 180 gold, 180 materials. Some essence. You can grab the potion perk for plus one mana potion use. Have a guy be potion dude and he can feed others. Hmm. That's decent. Get some value out of it. 1900.
Heroes are generated with better defensive gear. Huh. Uncommon items production plus two. Hmm. <clears throat> I feel like spending money on potions is worse than fountain. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure which is better yet. I think unlocking more gear is nice here. I just want the ability to have more stuff. More tomes of secrets. Level ups again. Do, 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 do. More critical? You could be more critical. What do we have on the other side? Skill range. Does that mean they can use the... Like, does that even count for melee abilities? The skill range thing? It doesn't, right? Or does it? It does! So, like, his, his expensive ability, would that be able to do it? Like, I'm not talking melee attacks, but... But, like, his ability... Where can I find it? The triple swipe. It says range melee. Yeah, it doesn't say range one. So for this it wouldn't work, right? Because it's literally melee. But for this it would work, the skewer. Yeah. Yeah, Spear Guy is mostly melee, I guess. If he had one range on it, then it would work, I suppose. Gumbo on this side. accuracy maybe critical maybe speed movement points would be pretty useful on him I feel in these uh, in these playthroughs we had so far would allow him to more go in and do his damage and get out again but maybe just crits maybe gamba Possibly Gamba. Hmm. No, I'll take move. I'll take move for him. I, I think it's... He's just too slow. Right now. Too slow. I think thrifty on him as well. We just have mana solved. Our archer does not want any of this. Critical. Reliability on common is pretty nice. Bum, bum. Yeah, I would like you to be thrifty as well. I know you can go for some crit build to get mana back, but I haven't really tried it yet. Like this thing, landing a critical hit gives mana. But I don't think it's best with a longbow necessarily, since it doesn't have... Um... I guess you could crit on this ability.
Thrifty is only bad if you get a new hero late with much crit. Mm hmm. I mean, Thrifty is just solid as fuck. We can try and do a crit mana region build. Probably on next playthrough. Oh shit! Rare magic damage increase on my uh, mage. Yep. Yep. That's what we want. Could do 5% damage increase as well here, or we could gamba. Hmm. Your damage could be so good. How much better can we actually find? I mean, we could find a lot better if it's not common. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Punished. Let's try it. I mean, could take accuracy. <laughs> yeah, let's take accuracy. Hey, Waga. Hey, Quinn. Quinn Saza. Reliability when full health. Maybe. Maybe confidence. This is run number four. <clears throat> yeah, I think confidence. So if we manage to stay full HP, we have really good damage. I don't think anything else here looks so nice. I mean, I guess magic fuel could be good if you manage to stay full mana. Or like, high mana. Because there's 50% damage added from your mana, so already, I mean, we could do quite a bit more damage. And she propagates. Magic fuel could actually do a lot of damage. What's the damage variation on the lightning though? It's insanely high. It's 154 to 212, so 50% reliability is... Amazing. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. Night reward. Oh, epic! My first epic item. My first epic item is four daily mana regen, three percent magic damage, plus one multi hit, plus two daily mana regen. Oh my god, that is a good one. What the fuck, dude? Okay, that is really good. We'll still look at the others, but I mean, it's only out of, out of the fact that we should be. Um, wow, that is a meteor shower? Interesting. Um, yeah, we're taking this. No fucking way we take anything else. Jesus, that is good. Um... I think it's an armor for my mage, or... Yeah, it should be, right? It should be an armor for my mage, I believe. This also will help you stay full HP with the confident thing, since you will have decent armor. Yes, I'm on run 4, and no, I didn't win a run yet. Yeah, magic damage increase as well. Jesus. But now you're not full HP because you equipped this. That's stupid, man. So now we're not reliable anymore. Hmm. Multi-hit, though. Yeah, it does have multi-hit, so it could be on my spear guy as well. Instead of this. Because we don't get value from the multi-hits. That's dumb. You shouldn't lose HP for putting on an armor that gives you more HP. Try heal potion? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I can, like, heal potion up and get it, I guess. How much does it heal? It's only 25. It doesn't even make me full. 
I have to potion twice. I would have to heal potion twice to uh, to get full even. Rusty dagger. Oh my god, what is this? That's a nice backup weapon for someone. 3% crit, 10% crit power. The shit. Move points too. Dagger plus multi-hit. True, we could do dagger plus multi-hits with armor. But uh, I think we're still keeping it on our mage. <clears throat> yeah, I think I will buy that. Yeah, I see there's a multi-hit handball. I don't think I'm gonna go for it though. We'll buy the dagger, because that's really appealing. Okay, cool. We got an epic item. We did get an epic item. Okay, so Archer has plus move points and, you know, some some crits. Really nice. Not greedy, by the way. I just want some cash. Um, mana potion or well? We could build a well right now. Could be decent to have. I could also go for a new hero. I think a new hero on this turn would be nice. Can I afford that? I can. I can definitely afford that. More about fitting it, what the hell? Let's build build in here. Let's see what heroes we have. Miguel! Level 2, 15% crit. What? 15% crit? Physical damage increase. Minus crit. Okay. Bag salt, move points, negative region, health and armor. Assassin, physical and range damage, crit plus 10%, physical damage 5%, reliability, oh, no, oh, Utred, Utred looks pretty good. Trained athletic assassin. What about this guy? Poison, Plague Doctor, Trained, Athletic. Also not bad stats or bad things. Brainy, Mana Region, Skill Range, Magic Damage. Hmm. Some interesting op options, I guess. Between Utred and Pancratius, I think. We could get... We could get an AP slave here. And he has plus skill range. And he has plus six mana and plus two mana region. Only level three though. 
Yeah, they're not super high level, but... Yeah, I think Pankratius is pretty good. His, mat his mana pool is amazing. I watched Sing Sing play this game a lot, and Dagger, dagger plus multi-hit is Imba. Yeah, I had Dagger plus multi-hit earlier. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun for sure. Skill range plus two. Rare skill range increase and magic damage increase. Uh, yeah, I think so. Plus two skill range sounds really good. Daily mana region, uncommon. That's also welcome. Rare reliability. I don't think we need reliability so much. He's gonna be an AP slave and like stuff spammer, so. Mana region is good. Magic damage, for sure. Even more mana! Hmm. He could go for the mana perk, almost. He's got so much mana increases for a level 3 character. He could already have 26 mana pool. I think so. I think, uh, go big mana on this guy. Avid learner. And you're definitely going to be cheering on people. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I think we might want to build more houses now because we're already guaranteed to work all our workers which is kind of bad could build could build a house and then dig up the well and build the well yeah that works but then we have a little bit low mana right if I build a well, I could upgrade for the free mana use thing, put that on Angelica, and we're pretty decent. We'll be a little bit low mana on Wanda, but she has free mana use. Yeah, that, okay, that's better. So we build a well. Somewhere. Somewhere. Don't stand here. Build a build well right on this spot. And upgrade it, and it gets a free mana heal thing benediction yeah we could remove some of these these barricades that are inside they're actually just fucking with our positioning more than anything and these can stay but the ones that are in the way Yeah, okay, that's fine. Give mana to the mage. So now she has at least 14 mana. No, I don't think you can repair the damage well. I don't think there's anything you can do. It's just scavenging. Like, you scavenge these. These are ruins, so... You just scavenge them. Um, let's buy some more stuff. We could buy mana pots, I guess. They're plus five mana. I think buying mana pots is nice, so we have it. I want to try and heal Angelica for the reliability. I would have to double potion her though. I mean, she has passive HP regen. I might try and heal her with a potion after this or something. But I think mana is more important than that.
Caspar can have the other potion because he has potential to use a lot of mana. All right, decent turn, I think. And now my mage doesn't have to be alone in her defense. She can have an AP slave with her. Hey, double mage lane. Two mages cheering each other on. Is this Apocalypse? I think that's Ascension levels, right? And no, this is not any Ascension. I've never beat the game fully yet, so we have not started doing any Ascensions. Yeah, I kind of just started, so it's a bit bit early to start doing ascensions. I'm new. I am new. Maybe we do a ballista over here too. I like ballistas more than walls as far as investments go, because the ballistas will, you know, they will do work. They will do work. Maybe just close that up. Okay, I think like this. Yeah, you can repair walls. I can't repair the starting walls, the stone things, but you can repair walls overall. Dude, the mist, they're so close. The mist is right on us. How the fuck are we supposed to defend this? Uh, I think I need the thing that slows down mist progression because what the fuck, dude? How do you defend this? Hmm, yeah, we just unlocked this here. I just did that in this playthrough. This seems super difficult now. There's a building that pushes back the mist. Yeah, I think that's the seer. We, we just unlocked it. And all the way back here. Shoot. Is that not in execute range? Well, I guess it's when they're lower than 15, I guess. Yeah, we can just punch him though. Protect our uh, spot here. Oops, almost ended turn. That would have been horrible. That would have been pretty bad. Oh, yeah, 6 AP now, too, because we have the thing. Nice. Extra AP. Don't you guys kill everything without using mana here? I wonder. Ah, okay. Let's go ahead and use some mana, I guess. Nice aim, bro! Oh god. Nice aim. Hmm. Lancers. Hey. 
We'll just do that. Not AP slaving today. Maged. Hope he mage. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to, hard to hold this wall because they're right on top of it. The mist, dude. The mist. We can do the big uh, triple swipe attack here. You know? Here is pretty decent. It will hit them, them, and yeah, it will be five targets. Oh, actually, it's that guy too. Good, good. Quite excellent. Yeah, no mana costs, archer spells. Yeah, she gets mana back for her first um, her first ability she uses that uses mana. Oh, that's nasty. Could have done the um, attack that doesn't get dodged at all. I guess. Dude, this will be difficult. I think... He dodged it! You motherfucker! Oh boy. He dodged the lightning, or the lightning, the ice. Okay, first of all, you guys can cheer for each other. I think we lightning strike here. Fireball too. Yeah. Let's not hold back. We're under a certain amount of stress here. Oh, 
That was pretty good. Now you can AP slave a little bit, give some actions away to your ally here. Oh, these, these crawlers are tanky. That's the max amount of units that you can have. Is there a reason you don't buy a lot more? Uh, yes. The reason I don't buy a lot more units is because of greed and because it costs and because I actually have as many units as I can have right now. Um, so all, all of all of the above kind of. Right now, I can only have four units. <clears throat> The max is six. Okay. It's good to know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just fireball here. After we cheer for each other. It's not definitely kills all of those. Ah, that's pretty good. Kill all of them. You can hit again. I shouldn't have given both those AP away. Oops. That side is holding pretty well now. This side, however. This side, however. The fucking shit show over here. Oh, you don't have line of sight on that? Again, because of Ballista, I guess. Shoot that person. No, we cannot execute this guy, unfortunately. But he's very low HP, so we can punch. And dodge. Uh, armor. Yeah, but that's fine. Punch actually does extra damage to armor. Should've picked accuracy. Should've. Could've, would've, should've. Go here, and then this is good. Dude, these guys are dodging everything. They're insane. The dodge lords cannot be hit. Pog new game. 
Some Petro Bear. Yes, Poggy need. Holy shit, they're swarming. No, my ballista, don't hit it. Don't hit my ballista. <clears throat> okay, we need a big propagate here. Big propaganda, please. Yeah. No holding back. Kill them. Let's try and see what becomes of this side before we decide what we do with our final AP. Damn, dude. This is scary looking. Ay ay ay, the ones close, dude. I can't even shoot them. In the back. Let's buff first. Oh, we stunned the one standing there. That's good. That's very key, actually. That guy stunned. Uh, you have a backup dagger. Just remember, you can multi shot the people close to you. Is that poison? Is that the poison? We can also go and execute him, though. Die. Protect the gold mine. I think we just keep fighting up here. Fight our own fights with these guys. And we do have actions, so let's give it away. And that's it, I think. Yep, everyone took all their actions. Okay, see how many enemies remain. Um, we can't yet. 
The panic level is rising. No. Panic level rising. Okay, we see here 39. 39 more enemies to kill. Uh, we can call you over here and try to help. Let's first decide what we're doing. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Shit's on fire, yo. Hard new game plus two. I don't know what you're talking about, but no, we're not doing any form of new game experience here. There's... This is a hard game, but uh, we're not doing Apocalypse Run or something like that. That's what you think. To be honest, Apocalypse Zero is the hardest run since meta progression makes the other Apocalypse runs easy. Yeah, I mean the first the first playthrough is literally the hardest one for sure. Like if someone wants to show a replay of someone, you know, beating this game on the first playthrough, I would be astonished to see that. That would be amazing. But I don't think it's possible even. Hmm, we can snipe out this guy. I can read Reddit beat the game day one after learning the game. So you mean that he... But you say beat the game day one, like the first day of playing? Yeah, that's, that's completely achievable though. It also depends how much you play in a single day. Oh, not day one, run one? Really? Damn. That is pretty impressive. Run one or run zero? Yeah, if he, he beat it on the first playthrough, that's, that's super impressive. Nice, good kills, my dear Spearman. Good kills, my friend. Yeah, that's fucking amazing, dude. Beating it on the first playthrough, that is... I mean, even if you knew the game and so on, that doesn't matter. Like, that does not matter to me. It should kill him. It does kill him. Nice. So three ranged shots to use.
We'll do a strong shot here, maybe? Should probably have done it on the other guy, but... Oh, we can execute him now. Bonk. I would hit my own wall if I do this. Maybe not the best. Let's do this. Shoot him. And he lives. Then bonk that guy. One HP! The Ballista, the dream! Actually, nuke four times, so let's just do this. Solid. You have unlimited executions? I thought you only get one. Oh my god, I thought you only get one execution, dude. Then execution is way better than I was thinking. <laughs> okay, that, that's pretty, pretty damn neat. guy remains yeah final final beast is this playable on pc with bad specs it seems like the type of game that would be i don't know the specs requirements for this game though No. Chat, you're more important than this call to me. Okay, we, we got a little bit of city panic, but not too bad. Time to build that seer. Yes, I think we do need a seer.
to level up. Hmm, our spear guy could get rear block. Mm. Like, block is not too bad, I guess, but it's not so good either. It's not damage. You need to kill the enemy fast. It's the most important thing in this game. Hmm. Do I care about this? Yeah, it's good against Archer Spam, that's true. He doesn't take any damage from that. Yeah, don't they do 8 damage, the archers? So he would just take all that damage away already. Mm. I mean, he's a big boy, too. Fuck it. Crit power? Is there a quick way to see his crit percentage? Yeah. Oh, there it is, right. There you see it. It's 10%. Mm. Press X. Does X do anything on the screen? Oh, you mean the close button, right. <clears throat> Last X I'm done, now time to celebrate with a Waga stream and a Milo. Not sure what a Milo is, but congrats, well done. Congratulations. Hmm. So what to do on this guy now? Plus, multi-hits is pretty good on him, honestly. His third ability would go from being kinda meh to being pretty decent. Poison bitch time? Poison bitch? Mm, no, I don't think I'm gonna go poison build on him. Potion bitch. Oh, I see. I see, you said potion. Um... I think he goes initiator. Wanda, my archer. Ordinary range damage. Wait, don't you have the perk? No, you don't have the perk. We could give you the perk and take block, but do I want that? Take Akorasi. Fist damage? No, fist damage doesn't work on archers. I mean, it, I mean, she did punch in the last playthrough, so I should not lie. It kind of works, but you know, only on the melee attacks, basically. Let's go for range damage. I think, even though we could take block on her. I don't really see Sire. No, the archers are not uh, physical. They counted as range damage. I had the same uh, reaction first time I played. I was always like, that's physical, isn't it? Getting shot by a fucking arrow feels pretty physical to me. But uh, yeah. I want to take a cheer on you too, then we can cheer the spear guy. Yes. And then 
our new mage has leveled up. Pankratius! What you get? Big dodge. Mana pool. On the other side. Crit power. Hmm. Seems like it's time for some gamba, I think. Yeah, it's Gamba on this side. Because crit power, I don't know. Reliability. Well, we, could, we could pussy out for reliability here. It's not bad on him. Or we could go big Gamba. Hmm. Big momentum. <laughs> ah, fantastic. Fantastic momentum. I think I want to go more mana on him and just spam up our mana pool. He's definitely going to get the magic fuel thing. For sure. Let's do initiator on him too, I think. Enough tainted essence for a trade. Two thousand seven hundred catapult defense, unleashing large projectiles. Watchtowers. The better defensive gear costs 10,000. Holy shit. We cannot afford this. I want the hammers. Hammers were fun, dude. Don't forget the seer. Yeah, I do want to build a seer. Seer. Guess where reveals the ratio per direction of incoming enemies. Okay. Repel fog. One uses per production phase. Takes three workers. Yeah, moves the fog two tiles further from the city though. We have to do that. We have to do this. This is, this is so amazing. That's so good, actually. Now we need more workers, more houses. Preparing is bad, building new is better. I don't think so. I think in this game, when I checked earlier, I think it's literally the same... Same cost. Like, yeah, this one HP Ballista costs 98 materials to repair, and it's um, one HP out of 50, so it costs 100 fresh. Meaning it literally just costs, you know, costs the same, same cost. So might as well have uh, 
two times the damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for repairing Ballista, for sure. You, like, since Ballista at 1 HP is more effective than, you know, than a wall at 1 HP, you can definitely argue that having this Ballista remaining. But, but uh, repairing is not, like, worse than building new in this game or something. It's, it costs the same. Same cost. That's all. But of course, for, for Ballistas in particular, it's a different story, since you get DPS. Um, how are we looking on mana? We're okay-ish, I guess. We have 16 mana, should be enough. Yeah, I did push the fog away. It's pushed back. I think we want more houses. Hard to find places for people to live, man. Go here. Upgrade. So I think we scavenge one of these for materials, and then we try and build like. This bowyer, blacksmith, armor maker, we want these things now. Please tell me you you see they all coming from southeast, not just north? Yeah, 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 of course. They're hitting from two angles. They do that like ever since uh, day three or something, they start doing it, or day two, eh? they start doing it. So I'm expecting it. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's shitty. I was hoping that we could fit something here, but we can't. Yeah, I just put all my heroes north so I could see all their uh, mana pools easily. I guess we can see it up here too. Can we even? Is it a mana pool? I don't know what I'm seeing here. Okay, yeah, no, I don't think I see their mana pool. This is just like... I don't know what the fuck that means. No, you can't rotate buildings, unfortunately. Can any building fit here? Or are they all... Oh, this building fits here. The armor maker can be here. Yeah, go. Give me a piece of armor. Oh, is there AP and move? I see. That makes sense. All pretty trashy, man, not gonna lie. Light armor plus one or linen armor plus two? The plus multi hits we should probably swap over on our other guy, by the way. He could have six multi hits on the. I, I think our AP slave might actually take it. I guess you can take one that can take this. And yeah, this epic armor. I mean, obviously it's pretty good on this mage. We could put it on other people though. Yeah, good for dagger and spear too, for sure. Uh, 
I like how it has fucking plus four, plus six uh, mana region too. Let's take this out. Best on arsonists. Arsonists? Do I have an arsonist? Is that a thing? I think it's good on uh, this guy's multi hit though. Not this run. Okay. Yeah, he has big mana region already though. The thing is, we could give more mana region to our spear guy, for instance. But he has physical damage. Yeah, he has a pretty good thing. His wildling armor is really good. So we could give it to her. She does have the dagger as a backup. So she could swap to a dagger, but then we don't make use of the magic damage. No, I think it makes a lot of sense to have it on this guy. I like it most on this guy. Spear guy needs a ton of mana in general. For sure, that's why he has a mana potion, but... Like, he is the only one in my team who can use the Wildling Armor to any, you know, useful extent. And it is quite useful for him. 9% more damage. So, I think he's gonna have it. I think that makes the most sense. Kind of want to build and upgrade a scavenger camp to just get more materials as well. That would allow us to spam more ballistas. Goes to 70. Wow. Okay, so we would get 140 more materials per turn. It's pretty nice. Let's check the uh, store first before we commit fully. Plus multi hits. Armor, health. Spear guy? Maybe. I mean. Plus propagation bounces. Do we have anything on... Who is it? It's you, isn't it? No, it's not you. It's you. Do you have anything? Oh, you yeah, have mana region trinket. Three percent range damage. Eh. Could be worth getting the multi-hits for a spear guy. But losing 9% of his damage sucks for the other abilities. So I don't like it so much. <laughs> Potion of strength, 50% damage increase for one turn. Oh yeah, I guess we can put some armor on you. Just give you this for now. Sorry taking my time here, but just gotta decide. Hmm. No, I think we can commit into upgrading this first. I guess healing our lady up so she gets the thing. Oh, she has it now, but she unequipped. So now her perk is active. Good. Yeah, we are using 
a multi-hit thing on uh, our mage. He's already using the, the epic multi-hit armor that we have. Is there any better wand than novice wand? This is propagation, not multi-hit. I kind of want him to use a wand, but not a staff and not the book. Final gold mine? Even more cash? Yes. Production. Now we need defenses. Alright, took me a while, but we can go now. Yeah, this flank is um, kind of torn down. We can repair the Ballista, yes. But it costs the full price of buying a new one, pretty much. It cost me 98 to repair it. Whereas it cost me 100 to build a new one. So we're just gonna leave it and hope that it doesn't damage. You know. It's a better value. Let's put the book down here and... Your AP slave. You know you can upgrade the ballista shoot, to shoot twice with gold rights? Yes. I'm aware. These mounted ballistas can shoot over each other, correct? So putting another mounted ballista here, it won't like miss the vision. Hmm. I want to surround this ballista with more ballistas to keep it safe. Yeah, I'm actually doing that. Surround it. I want ballistas on my ballistas. How about building block in front of a ballista? Yeah. I guess we can afford one little blocker here. Boom. Big. Wait, did I not use my mana? Oh, I did. I did use my mana. Ooh, the rippers. The ripper! This guy is nasty. He kills his own friends and gets stronger. Us. The fog reveal is really good. Oh yeah, it was super necessary. Super necessary to get that.
Booyah! Kill him with your bare fist. I did forget the cheering. That's true. I did. Kill that guy. Forgot to execute too. Mm, did I? Uh, maybe I did. Well, we used to punch at the end there because we couldn't execute that guy. But maybe I could execute someone else there. Cheer me on! <laughs> oh my god! North is keeping it clean. I like it. Very good, North. Just cheer each other on a little bit. And then uh, throw a nuke over here. We have a ripper there. Okay. Let's just propagate this out from here. You have your six target multi hit on this shit, so I think. You can go down a little bit, and then multi-hit here, here, here. Actually, you could just do... could do it like this. Try and target stuff that doesn't die. Do you even kill him with three hits? Probably not, right? Yeah, so you can do this. There, so now we have a six multi-hit again. Runners, they're annoying. There is hope after all. I see a Lancer standing up over there. Let's nuke him once. Ah, uh, yeah. The longbow guy wants a watchtower? He does. We don't have watchtowers unlocked, though. Mm, maybe we just do this for free. Punch him! Damn, he's not in execute range. Tanky motherfucker. Yeah, we can do a free snipe. We'll do that on this guy. It's so nice having these free, no mana cost turns. Uh, 
Alright, north is still doing pretty good. Maybe just do regular attack spam this turn here. At least on you. Yeah, I know the other guys, multi shots. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use one multi shot here. Actually, let's just keep hitting these guys. I see a Lancer. South is preserving some mana, you know. I could have used more mana there and done more damage, but holding back a little bit. Now we're gonna have to use mana this turn, though. No? Big mana. Really? It fucking went there and ended? Ah, shit, dude. That sucks. Oh, we're fireballing. I should have thrown it back here. Would be more uh, the safe play. Should have done that instead. Yeah, they got some big boys on this front. This front is uh, being kind of swarmed. Let's try and not kill on the first nuke. Is that possible? Can't see that guy. Um, yeah, might kill. Pretty low chance to kill one of these guys in one hit though. Oh, it's... We do this. There. No, you killed something! Did you crit, you asshole? Scary that so many of these are question marks. Not guaranteed kills. Yeah, so this guy doesn't die. He's gonna run up and do some stuff. Eh. Do not like. Do not like.
there. <laughs> oh my god, he's so good, man. How is he so good? Execute range. It's melee. And one free snipe out. Yeah, right now the south is looking like it might need backup. Spear guy plus three ballistas. Might be taking care of it. We'll just put the ranger so she can run down there. Pretty value to get rid of all of these guys, I guess, but at the same time, this is what's overrunning us. Let's just hit here. Good damage. I guess we shouldn't waste your attack on the super low HP ones. Let's kill this guy, he's a little bit higher. Our attack is quite strong. guy he's too close to the wall kill him let's go do one multi hit here could have done a multi hit first i missed one attack now value lost Wait, 10 AP not used? Oh, right, we're not done with this fucking side. It's a good thing they say that, dude. Oh, there's a lot more. Uh, 
There's more to kill. Lightning strike again. So many kills. Get them all, boy. I should have given action to uh, her. She actually hits harder. Forgot to AP slave with him. He gets experience this way. That's true. Gets a bit more. They do have like shared experience, but not fully shared. Hmm, do I want it everyone? I do think so. hilarious that my spear guy is punching so much he's making the most out of it <laughs> spear too heavy I have to use fists yeah Do the ballistas calculate for overkill? Because it seems all three ballistas shot the same target there, and I don't know if that was overkill or not. <clears throat> Just do a fireball, I think. Only 21 enemies remaining. Maybe I could even preserve mana right now. Entirely. Do I need to use more mana? Would be nice to save some of it, I guess. shoot the closest targets even if it would die to another shot okay so a bit inefficient huh We have to use one uh, one more mana use on you. Let's do it. Uh. 
forgot to cheer, but let's just fucking kill him, dude. I don't think we need to cheer anymore. We're past that. He was, he was always cheering himself. That's true. He does that a lot. Oh, did the Lancers hit from two away? Ah, oh, they have a ranged attack. Ah, I never actually noticed that. I've usually killed the Lancers really early. Damn, he might destroy my Ballista now, right? 24? How much damage do you do? Oh, he definitely is destroying it. He definitely is destroying my Ballista. That's no fun. So I can use some mana to save my Ballista. Yeah, I mean, that seems... Seems worth... It will shoot him first. Yeah, but it's 120 HP. So even if Ballista shoots, it does 70 to 100 damage. Like, it can't kill him. It cannot kill him, so uh, I think we have to go and rescue my Ballista. I mean, one mana to preserve a Ballista on the map seems pretty good. Oh, I could have given AP and punched him. They were hitting the walls before, no? Uh, they hit the walls, but... They also fly over, so like they hit the walls when they get next to it, but then if they have the chance to move forward again on the next turn, they can move forward and then attack again, as far as uh, we saw before. So it would kill the Ballista. Want to say hi, can't watch stream, don't want this game spoiled. Hey, sub slam swamp. Uh, S rank success. Big success. Okay, same split again. That was day five completed. Mystic Elven Boots plus two. Propagation damage plus 17%. 10% or 10% experience gain. Two daily mana region. Oh, holy shit, dude. Put those fucking boots on my mage. She's gonna slap. 17% more damage on the bouncy attack. That's huge, guys. There's also a wooden hand crossbow plus two with 10% crit power and 10 health. Not bad. And there is a heavy armor with 11 block and plus 25 armor and plus 44 armor. <laughs> Just the giga block. But no, these boots are easily our pick. Oh, is that trinkets? Ha, huh, boots take up the trinket slots. That's fine though. We just have a mana region thing there as far as I remember. With a little bit of reliability. Nice. Then someone else can get mana region as well. Maybe Caspar wants more mana region. <laughs> you don't wear boots around your neck? Of course. What do you think the bootstraps are for? So you can easily choke yourself. All for a better choke. 
What does reliability, momentum, opportunity do? By the way, just buff damage of skills with those traits. Reliability actually works for every attack, uh, as far as I am aware. And reliability means that you increase the lowest damage. So if you have 50% reliability on this rusty spear, you will have 90 to 100 damage instead of 80 to 100. Uh, as for momentum and opportunity, those are based on skills uh, that have those things. So reliability is a bit different than the other two there. Uh, momentum and opportunity just need to have something that uses those things. And as for what they do, momentum is like more damage when you run far and opportunity... I can't even remember what it is. I never had opportunity stuff. Hmm. I think we got Gamba a little bit here. Let's roll on this side. Physical damage. Actually crit. Maybe just physical damage, so like reliable damage output on him. Ah, opportunity is more damage to enemies who are negatively status affected. I see. I see, I see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna take physical damage on him. We don't have much crit, but very good reliable damage output from this guy. Could do mana region. Common mana region. Um, he does need a lot of mana region, but he has mana potion. Gamba. Okay, crit power. We just said that crit is not what we're going for, but now he has decent crit power, so I guess we might take it. He is now all the way to level 7, meaning he gets one of these perks. Stronger when there's no ally around, attacking badly wounded, no piercing, or no dodge and armor piercing. Specialist is really cool. It gives him plus 20% damage and plus 1 use on every skill provided by your remaining weapon set. So he could do the multi-hit twice in a turn. Uh, you could also do the giga attack twice in a turn, but that's less likely that you will actually want. It also gives 20% damage. I mean, that is that is big. Yeah, he's only using the spear, so right now it would be a pretty clean buff. The thing is, he could put something as a secondary weapon to give more multi-hits or more crit or whatever. Uh, so giving up that second uh, weapon slot is a little bit sad. What else do we have? Relentless. When the hero move, has three or less move points remaining. Attacking with a melee range skill adds the effects plus 10% damage, armor piercing, no block, cast against. He could have an armor piercing AoE blow, right? Because that's a melee attack. So that attack could get 10% more damage, no block, and armor piercing? Ooh. And not just that attack, of course, his other attacks too, kind of. At least his uh, melee attack. I don't think this one counts as melee, technically. Relentless is a good choice. First blood, more crits, not really what we're doing. Poisonous, no. Crit mana, no. Overload, no. Okay, so it's between Relentless and Specialist for him. I think Relentless sounds better. I mean, we could go for both, eventually. Three or less move points remaining. Then he does giga damage. Hey, Waga. And armor piercing. Thank you for your content. I have the same preferences in games. So I think we start with specialists. I think we start Always with specialists. That's better. New fun game with relatively complex mechanics on your channel. Have a good day. Hurrah! Let me let me read what you said because I was distracted in my own uh, leveling up. Hurrah! Thank you for your ten dollars. Big shout out, dude. I, I appreciate that. So appreciated of uh, all the people supporting the channel. So thank you so much, man. Um, thank you for your content. I have the same preference in games, so I'll try this one on this weekend. It's always great to find new, uh, new fun games with relatively complex mechanics on your channel. Yeah, th this game 
if you have sort of the same taste as me and and uh, yeah relatively complex mechanics definitely describes this game pretty well um yeah if, if you watch this a little bit and it looks interesting i think you're gonna enjoy it because uh it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool game big shout out dude all right let's go for uh one dust level up our archer gets move points blah blah, blah trash everything trash crit power accuracy okay so we have good choices there then we can gamba here and more okay trash i guess she'll punch harder if someone gets melee or well, something uh i'll take crit power on her i think you have 12 percent crit right now archers with crit is generally pretty nice i feel See, she's an example where taking the specialist could be a bit sad because we have uh, a nice, nice secondary weapon on her right now. Welcome on TV. Hey, just wanted to ask Day9 stream the game yesterday. It was quite overwhelmed with all the systems. Do you experience the same thing? No, I dive right in, man. I love it. Uh, it can be overwhelming, I suppose, but it's not how I've experienced it. I mean, th these type of games, I, I fucking love them, dude. So, like, complicated, overwhelming bullshit. I don't mind that. That's all cool to me. Sounds cool to me. Hmm... Now the question is, what do we want to do next on this character? I think maybe first blood, 15% critical when attacking an enemy with full health. Yeah, first blood is good. So you can uh, crit them down. That's pretty decent, she'll have 27% crit on uh, full health targets. Angelica, the book user. Magic damage is decent. And what do we have? Isolated. No, we don't have isolated things. Uh, probably a roll here. Don't need accuracy that badly either, I think. Reliability. It's okay. But we could roll here. Daily mana region, rare experience gain. Oh boy, 20% more EXP. I take that. I mean, yeah, you're level seven already, but still 20% more. Let's do magic damage. <clears throat> we could take specialist and then we can do the the big lightning twice in a round, but I don't think we need that so badly. Could have magic fuel and try to get her mana up a bit, and then she'll do more damage with her big propagate attack based on her um, mana that she has. It's not a very big percentage increase though, considering it's 194 to 220. Hmm. Maybe first blood. Maybe she crits on full HP enemies. Ghosts on this wave? I don't know, dude. I haven't played enough to be experienced enough to tell you. And I only fought against the ghosts once. I think it was before this day, but maybe it was on this day. Maybe it was on day six. I only fought the ghosts once, though. Um, maybe first blood. I don't know. I'm uncertain what we want to do with you here. More crit on full HP enemies sounds pretty decent for you. Then you have 20% chance to crit them, instead of 5%. Is that the best we could do? 
Yeah, First Blood and Mana Collector could actually allow her to get some mana back. That's true. First Blood into Mana Collector could be a good level up. Yeah, and she has the big AoE nuke. She is the first one to damage, like, ten different enemies when she throws that shit out, so... Why not? Pancratius, what do you get? Rare magic damage. I like it. I like it. What do you get here? Rare propagation damage. Rare reliability. Rare momentum. I like the rare reliability on you. We're not really doing propagation on you necessarily. Yeah, I think you could take the rare reliability and rare magic damage and you're just gonna hit pretty damn hard with your shitty magic missiles. We need to get him a better wand, man. Get him a proper wand. Boom, boom. Yes, you want to be thrifty. Keep your mana up. Okay, we leveled everything. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We want to push the fog back. Guess where reels the ratio per direction? I don't know. I don't really care about that so much. Get me gold. Get the free mana thing. Yo, can I get all my people here? Just see mana check on the people. What do we have? Pretty decent mana actually. It's not awful. Let's do the free mana restore. Maybe we upgrade that one to get more. Yeah, let's upgrade that one. We'll get full mana on her. Sick. So she's full mana. I like, I like. All right, our thing. Our armor maker. We could use this once to help. I think we do. Daily mana regen shield. We'll take that. And a bit of block, I think. Daily mana region for <laughs> Jesus. He has 15 mana region? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, Pancratius needs to use his mana faster. What the shit is this? Um, does anyone else even get a shield? You can't. Can you second slot a shield? Can you, like, do this? Oh, you can. It gives a lot of block and shit. Maybe on the spear guy? Ah, oh, right. Spear guy specialist. Yeah, probably on the archer then. Yeah, we can do this. Our archer has a nice uh, secondary. Getting a lot of boosts from it. Oh, we also had a mana ring. Right. Now my archer has a fuck ton of mana. Let's clear out and try to build more houses. I have a lot of people working. I want more people working. <laughs> clear. 
clear this out. Scavenge it. Build something new. Maybe... Maybe a magic shop? What run is this? This is run number four. Is scavenging really worth it instead of just destroying and working other stuff? That's true. It's true. Might might not want to scavenge since we we do want to work this. Now we're out of workers. Yeah, you're right. We should probably just destroy like this thing. Some new magic stuff. Novice one plus one. Okay, that's kind of shit, but it's it's better for this guy. It is a better wand. For all the chill times. Kenneth! Thank you for the resub. Almost three years. Big shout out, man. Do appreciate it. Eighteen workers. Spamming workers here. Um I want more stuff. Destroy this ruin. And build a boyer up here. I mean, probably don't want to use any of these. I like my long bow more than I would like the short bow, I think. But we could have the... No, we can't really have the short bow as a backup because she has backup weapons already. Well, it doesn't really matter then. Prowess has been completed. What is this? Hello, thick lady. What's up? Ah, have your buildings produce items? The pistol? Ranged weapon, druidic staff, an axe. Axe! I like it. Give me an axe. Oh, you have to visit both sides before leaving. Really? Oh, what the hell happened to you? You look a bit different. Pure ecstasy. Does this shape of meat please you? What the... I don't know how to answer that. Were we unlocking something? I can't remember. I got distracted. By pure ecstasy. <laughs> hmm. Here's a generator with plus five mana. Watchtower. Watchtower could be kind of fun to have, I guess. Item production, though. Better items. We have to think not just for this run, but for future runs. What do we need? Hmm. Better longbows could be cool. <laughs> mm. 
Not better, just more? Is it just more? Unlocks the item... Steel longbows, silver longbow, ethereal longbow. I mean, those are better. That's better quality versions of longbow that I don't have. So... You can say that it's just more, but it's... it. I mean, it is better. Yeah, it unlocks the prefixes. Same damage, just a different modifier. Hmm, I see. Yeah, but... That's kind of nice. A lot of those... I mean, maybe not objectively better, but... A lot of those are better than... Not having it. Hmm. I think I'll just do mana for now, actually. We still have so much gold. We've not built a blacksmith or an armor maker. I guess we're just gonna add more shit. Spear plus one? Wait, does Casper have a rusty spear? Nice. This is just... Just a nice upgrade. Dagger plus one, rusty sword. Yeah, fuck those things. That is an improvement for him. Doo -doo -doo. Armor maker. This is starting to look like a real city, man. We have so much shit now. What is this? What armor do we have on our archer? We have a shit armor. Nice. Isolated damage is really good for her. We keep the move points and we just get range damage as well. Wait, do I have two armor makers now? I guess so. Well, we'll have a lot of armors. That's true, we made two armor makers. Maybe not the best, since you would probably want to upgrade one instead. Whoops, whoops. What was I thinking that I was going to build? I was going to build... Ah, oh, right. Your armor maker is limited to two, huh? All the others are limited to one. Okay, well, we have one of the other things, so... Okay, we got what we want. We've got what we want, then. Yeah, I mean, we need a lot of armors, so we're kind of loaded now. Now the question is, where do we want to work? Gold mine is craving for some business. The gold mine, yeah, the gold mine though. Scaling! More gold, let's go, man. Not even memeing, I want gold. Give me gold. My 18 people have all been working. I could get more people even, but the 
think we might hold there. Let's check the gear. Plus propagation bounces. What's my secondary weapon on my propagation lady? You have some bullshit. Nice. Then we can get plus bounces if we want. Very cheap too. Ooh, propagation damage. Wait. Oh, we can do both of those. Propagation damage and bounces. Yeah, we can sell the unused. These things we don't need. Yeah, buy that and that. Okay, I think we're good. Can buy some more potions and hand them out to people. Pancratius. Wait, Angelica could use an HP potion because she gets more damage if she's full HP. And one that could have a mana here. potion. You want this for ranged damage? Thank you, Gyako! Glad you like it. Linen armor is just better than this, so let's take it. And then propagation damage, propagation bounces. Woo -hoo -hoo, she had a pretty decent increase this turn. She got the. Didn't we get the boots this turn too? I can't remember if we got them last turn or this turn. We've done so many things. Our city has a lot of macro going on. Pancratius could really use some like multi-hit increase or something, secondary weapon. I'm thinking we could upgrade the store and try and see if we find more items. Let's do that. Druidic staff. What does the druidic staff do? Opportunistic attack. Move points minus three. Okay. So it entangles. Beasting. Poison for three turns. Propagation. Oh, it is a propagation poison. Nasty. Nasty, nasty. And an acid spray. Minus 100 armor. Okay, interesting. Just learning what the items are doing, you know. I haven't seen it before, first time seeing that weapon. Yeah, Propagation Poison sounds pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it's fairly cheap. We can buy it and try it out. We can have it on our Mana Slave as an alternative spell.
Now we can go. Jesus, that took a long time. I'm sorry, chat, if that feels like, you know, boring that we're not fighting, but that was... That was a lot of stuff that we did. Mm, let's do spear and archer still. Let's do the same splits. Now just to build some little bit of defense and we can go. walls So one HP is killing my OCD. I'm sorry about that, but that's uh, that's gonna be that's gonna stay that way. I'm afraid. It's fucking amazing. It's making me happy. I can tell you that. It makes me excited and happy. It's so good value, though. You gotta think of the value. Turn base there, billions. <laughs> I guess. Oh god, dude. There's so many, they're spilling over here. And quite a lot. Uh, okay. Hmm. Do I already know about the Apocalypse mod difficulty modifiers? I know that they exist, I don't know much about them, no. <clears throat> hmm, so you wanna get... Did we pick the perk that I'm thinking? No, we didn't. We picked this perk, right. So it doesn't matter so much. You can just go in here and do your AU attack. Yeah, I haven't beaten the default game, so like doing... I'm not really at the point where I want to do ascension levels necessarily yet. We're not quite there yet. Ah, fuck, man. So close. Strong shot on that guy. Excellent.
Uh, that will have to do. Propagate on these guys, I guess. pretty all in here I don't really want to hold back considering that there's this going on as well I might have to send someone over to nuke here yeah I like that weapon switching in this game is instant. It's really neat, in my opinion. Hmm, you would have to go forward twice. That's fine, though. Holy shit, like I dodged. Dear Lord, there are so many. Sorry, chat. Ah, uh, delete. And they have stacked up nicely here for us, at least. Execute him. Brum. Two rippers up there. Uh oh. Rippers are nasty. Possibly stunning them, but so little damage on the Arctic Blast. Hmm. Let's just shoot him again. I have to kill the Ripper. I won't be able to kill this one. Ah, 
Ah, they're charging in. Oh, there's gonna be a little bit of panic. Propagation seven. Let's just start it here then. Yeah, we need to go ham here. We need to kill them somehow. Oh, it does hit him twice when I did that. So I could have done it on the other side and hit him twice. Okay. Didn't think it would. Trying to kill these rippers. They're so huge! Let's run over here and nuke. This turn, this side doesn't look like I actually took my turn here, you know? This is looking bad, chat. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's looking bad. But we did all our actions, so. Oh, there's so many. They're in our scavenger camp. Oh, dude, this feels like F. This feels like F is coming. Just fireball that and run. Run down here. Cheer for each other. Do this on him. Oh, it could backfire actually. Let's do it here. Here is best. Can we reach that? Damn it, I can't reach him. Oh, we can do it here then.
Oh, nice. You can still six person multi hit. This guy's poisoned, so he's dead. Poison's taking care of some here. He's dead. Bunch of these guys are dead. This side, dude. <laughs> They're coming. They're coming, guys. Oh, Lord. They're coming. They're not coming. They're already here, even. Do I have a nuclear strike? Hmm. Three rippers here too. Oh, oh, what the fuck do I do, man? Hey, <laughs> we freeze and maybe buy time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do we do, man? Um, hmm. Never mind this guy down there. I'm thinking we go and stand here and hit. Because then we get him, those guys, and then those guys. Nah, that's not even good. We're going down this way, hit here, this guy, and then these guys. I mean... What's my best option here, man? Best option of the ch shitty ones. Yeah, I know I'm gonna cheer. I'm, I'm remembering it, but it's just about our course of action too. Okay, try and kill that guy. We can execute him. Nice. Wait, you didn't hear her. Ah, shit! But she has movement, it's fine. He's so fat! Fucking Ripper, man. Maybe here. Go back here and hit here. This and this. I don't know. It's only four enemies, but... Ah, oh, can't do much better, can we? We can't hold back. We need to we need to nuke. <sighs> and he's stuck there. He's going to get attacked by the splitter. With his 47 to 62 damage. And this guy also reaches with his 78 to 104 damage. Oh shit, dude. Our dude is dead if we don't shoot that guy. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, maybe we can swap weapon here. Do a dagger attack. It's only 25 damage on the... 
poison. This might be fine though. What if we go in here? And then dagger multi hit like this. Actually, go even one step further and do this. It's not that guy, and that guy is dead. This feels like I'm solving an impossible puzzle here because we're only on turn three. Hmm. Yeah. Nice! Die! <laughs> yes, that's exactly how I feel. Exactly how I feel, I agree. I concur. Oh god! <laughs> We're being swarmed! Next round we'll be stronger anyway. That's true. That's true. We'll come back stronger. <sighs> this fucking guy is behind us. Hey, you look beautiful today. Hey, you also look beautiful today. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, we have the golden spot here with these. We, we can get a full hit AOE attack here. Holy shit, we have so many stacked enemies there. We need to get him to stand here and shoot and hit here. Do I have vision on it if I go here? I do. Okay, do this. Good. Now you go in. Blast them! Now that is damage. That is fucking damage, boys. Boom, baby. They're still alive. We could do a normal spear hit here. And then we can punch and execute, maybe. Yeah. We can also potion and try and do another AoE attack. But I think we try and save that for next turn when they come closer. I mean, he did clear up a lot. That was that was good. That was good. My ballistas. Um, I can try and stun here. The ones who are on the ballista. Right, we don't have line of sight there. Mm, take one step down. Oh, the ballista are blocking it. Never mind. We're not going to get line of sight there. Because of a ballista. But if I go this way, there we can. Okay, so we stunned two of them. I mean, we're doing our best to hold on here, chat. We're doing our best. Wallistas. <laughs> yeah, they're a good wall. They are a good wall, that's true. The wallistas. I like it.
Hmm. It'd be good if we could like clear out a little bit and make this more reliable here. So maybe this guy goes first. Then there's this shit still coming. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many. I don't like them. Poison two times with bees. Mm, we could do that, but I, I want to... Yeah, I think we can do that as well as what I'm trying to do here. Because I want to get rid of this guy. This guy, and then... Uh... And last hit on... Let's just say that guy. So the idea is that we clean up a little bit so we can get a better propagate here or more reliable. Pretty nice, pretty nice. He can get killed by Ballista, so we can leave him. He also gets killed by Ballista, most likely. Oh, our mana is running low on this guy, too. Oh. Send poison here on the back. Nice. Do I need to go up here and hit? I might have to, because this is coming... Coming in hot! Uh, let's hit once here first. Whew. Oh yeah, I've done what I can. Oh, gods, they're on us. Only four heroes in night seven. Yeah, at yeah, night seven, we probably want to have more heroes, uh, judging by this. No, my gold mine, my ballista, my, my head, don't shoot me. Sixty-two remaining. What the fuck, man? There's sixty-two. Uh... dying <laughs> the fuck they're everywhere man they're, they're, they're everywhere
Sometimes there are no good answers, man. Sometimes there are no good answers. <laughs> That's what I feel right now. Yeah, the runners will scoot to the mages. I know. I know, the runners will do that. Fuck it. Let's go here and make sure he dies. Okay. I mean, these, these two boys will hurt a bit too. There's a runner that we've neglected up here, just coming around. He's gonna go hit the mages. I guess we can try and kill him with this guy. We have no shots remaining or anything here. Oh, I think we died on this guy. Fuck! I'm in attack range of both of these. Rip F for Casper, dude. Casper is gonna die this turn. Oh wait, is one of them stunned? One of them is stunned though. Yeah, but still, there's like runners coming in and this guy reaches too. No, he, he's so dead, dude. He's so dead. He's kinda dodged. I like to believe that. I like to believe that too. He needs to run up here. Wait, how fast are you? You're really fast. Could have cheered, I guess. Since you're so quick. Dead to poison. Oh, there's only three attacks of this thing. Okay. So we'll go up there and attack once. Oh boy. It might not kill then. I guess we can entangle too. That's beasting here. Why did I beasting? That's two actions. Fuck, now we're ignoring this guy. Oh well. We'll have to try and kill him next turn. He's gonna bite the circle, but it doesn't insta-kill, so... Might be fine. Yeah, these guys are poison, but they don't die to it, and there's more stuff coming. Oh, uh, yes, we want to propagate that. This guy's dead. This fucking thing is fast. Should probably have fireballed over here actually. I let's see it survive. Don't die. He's not dying actually. Oh 
only 44 left. And look, he's alive. No, he's dead. Wait, is it because of range? Did it have range on someone there? Fuck, man, he's dead. Ah, oh, if he lived, man. If he lived. If he lived, it would have been so good if he lived. And you're too slow to get over there, because you only have six movement points, you slow fuck. Oh, I'm, I'm one move away, dude. If only I wasn't the AP slave, if someone else could AP slave me. One move away, we could propagate here with beasting. Ah. Uh... It's just because we don't have vision. Can I destroy my gold mine? Tactical destruction? Yeah, we can shoot the gold mine with our archer, I think. That kills it. Farewell, my beautiful gold mine. Oh my god, the pawn champ play. We gotta go here, shoot this guy. Then go here and cheer. Oh, we can cheer, just barely. Propagate! Again. That's a little play, actually minus 200 gold mine. Yeah, well, it's either that or minus my fucking life, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's the only thing that would make me kill my gold mine is the fact that I'm literally dying. Oh, right, you need move points for that thing. Can't see there. Let's try and freeze them as well. But the greed. <laughs> we we like greeting, but uh, this 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 is where it ends. Oh boy! Get out of here! Oh Jesus, he's gonna live most likely to one attack too. Why are you so fat? He does live. Maybe Ballista shoots him. Or maybe he runs away and doesn't get shot by Ballista. I don't know if I can risk it. Die! Potion? The HP potion? What do you mean wasted potion? We use everything we can to survive right now, my friend. We have fucking rippers running at us here. Trust, we will do what we can to survive. I don't think you understand the situation. Wasn't he already full HP? No, he wasn't. Ah, 
let's kill the ones that are immediately threatening us here. Live, presume someone has uh, someone died. Yes, someone died. Oh, she can actually AP slave. I forgot that. She can give away action points. Die, Ripper! Die! Dodged. Fucking dodged. Should have used the. Should have used the snipe shots. Don't know why I'm preserving any mana at this point. Salvage this, you have the economy. Mm, one of my fully upgraded gold mines just died, and my scavenger just died too. I don't know about the economy. But definitely I could I could play on and uh Attempt to always, clear one more time. Fuck, I can't see him. <clears throat> thank you, Pandar. Oh, whoa, dude. Thank you for 50. Big shout out, my man. Dead man, get out of my base. I was, I was close, man. The gold man just gold mine just died. No idea how that could have happened. Listen, I had to shoot there. I had to shoot. Okay, it, we had no choice. We held, and that gave us some big essence. Yes, spear guy died.
We're screwed. <laughs> Check my new wares. <laughs> hola hola, come and buy your shit over here. Oh, uh, we're getting attacked from three sides as well. We have enough to to make a trade. I might just reset. There's a chance that I that I could maybe possibly hold, but I'm pretty excited to reset after this. Mm -mm -mm. GG go next. Yeah, but we get progress though. We get progress here. 4,000. We could build watchtowers now. But I think I want other stuff. Unlocking more variants. Unlocking some prefixes could be nice. Actually, yeah, these power staffs. Power staffs and this, maybe. Power staffs and longbows. Power staffs are kind of shit, though. Maybe... Yeah, power staffs are really nasty, or really bad. In my opinion. Oh, these are new weapons entirely, right? Offhand. Offhand dagger, offhand sword. Hmm. Great sword time? Do we have a great sword somewhere? Oh, you mean the two handed sword? Yeah, we can't afford that. Let's do offhand, because it seems cool. Seems like a lot of new things. Maybe item production next. Additional defensive gear variations during generation of heroes. Eh. I think better gear, or uh, better production. Yeah, those are permanent upgrades. Those are the persistent upgrades that you get. Isn't getting a level 8 hero a thing? How do you get to that page? Uh, bottom left, you can click. Yeah, we're we're just we're just gonna abandon here though. I guess I can do some stuff to trigger efficiency. Let's see. Let's go to Oraculum. See if we have new stuff. Have a hero reach forty mana. Survive eight nights in the air. Spend one thousand gold at the shop. Oh, heroes are generated with trinkets. Well, I'm spending my money at the store. Have your magic shop craft 10 items. Craft items. Yeah, crafting items and all the things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's just uh, spend all our money in store and craft a bunch of items. I don't know if you actually need to claim the items, but we're doing it anyway. Just to make sure. To the store so this is just pro i'm just progression whoring right now i'm basically just gonna buy everything here that i can afford and then we can sell items again sell it back to him and then buy it from him again 
<laughs> Wait, did I do it? Power is unlocked. I guess I did it already. Quality trading. Yeah, spend items. Nice. So our heroes will be generated with a trinket. That's a pretty big buff. That's a pretty big buff, I must say. No, 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 no. There we go, more items. Unless the trinket is ass. Yeah, but I mean, even a shitty trinket is still better than nothing. You can even sell it, right? That's a bit of gold. You can always unequip it if you don't like it. So, even a shitty trinket is quite useful to us. Oh my god, dude. All this item crafting. So this is just to get faster progression, but it helped a bit. I don't think we have anything else we can do. I guess we can build one more. Or, no, we can't, we can't really do anything anymore. I think we did. We did everything we need to. Let's, let's just roll out. Mine gold. Yeah, I don't know if that's an achievement, but maybe it is. I'll just mine gold. To have done it. Uh, alright. Abandon. I'm gonna be right back. <clears throat> Need to go and get something uh, from the kitchen. I'm a little bit hungry, but uh, we'll go for a new playthrough. I guess we can uh, start by checking what the people are. Our starting people before I head out. So we're gonna have one Druidic Staff. And the character is Vagrant. So fast at least, but less bag slots, less mana. Orc Blood, good physical damage and health. And healthy. I have pretty shitty stuff. Physical damage is interesting. We have a mercenary. That's nice. Precise. And aggressive. Big physical damage, I guess. Plus six. Not super useful since most of these perks are useless. Oh, wait. Do we get an AP increase? How do you have AP? What? How do you have seven? Oh, you got a gear. <gasps> you got a focus ring. Look at that. I told you. It's amazing! We get trinkets! Fucking AP from a trinket? Fantastic. And the third and final one is a sniper. Crit power. Skill range. Range damage. Less physical damage and less health. That's fine. Angelic blood. That's garbage. Okay. He's a sniper at least, I guess. And he has even more crit power from this. Oh, crit power builds. Okay, well, I need to be right back. Um, so I'll be back in a second.
You can't touch me. No way. You can't touch me. No way. You can't touch me. No way.
can't touch it. No way! I realize I'm muted. Excellent. I'm back, I've got some hot pockets so I can sustain myself during these long streams. We are four and a half hours in, kind of a halfway point here. Hmm. Let's see, we're getting attacked up here. Let's go and defend. Thank you for that. Yes, very tasty. Do some AoE damage. Can go up and punch this guy. I think we just kind of pop off here in the first round. Let's uh, do one bee swarm for them here. Your attacks are all mana dependent, so. What's your mana region? Plus four? He has pretty good mana region. Let's just do a poison attack over there, too. Feel good? Does it feel good having uh, six hands and your three starting characters? <laughs> true, true, Panda. Are you here for that? Oh boy. Yes, yes. I'm very happy to have uh, you know above average number of hands on these boys. Very cool. here and do a poison sting here. I guess you can blaze it again here.
<clears throat> but yes, having having that and also having all these action points, man. We have so many AP on our starting characters now. It's amazing. Oh, you can do this three times? Oh my god, you can triple spear hit? That's pretty good. That is pretty good. 19 AP on three characters? Yeah, what the fuck, dude? I'd like to preserve some mana here. I guess you have enough that you could use one more, but let's wait. He just massacres. So hot, you're fusing to your premium leather gaming chair? Oh no, I <laughs> know, no one wants that. Big stabs. Yeah, leather chair is... Not very nice, in my opinion. Level 2. Sorry for my, uh, my slow gameplay now as I'm eating. I'm trying to take the combat fast, at least, as we're strong here in the early game. Spear boy. And the rush attack actually does have momentum. I never used the rush attack yet, but maybe I should. I think I'm gonna gamba though. I don't know. Don't really like momentum so much here. No, no wins yet. Hmm, reliability. Better damage output. Or early game experience. Ten percent experience on the first level up. Might be nice. Might level a little bit more. The spear is a fairly reliable weapon. Let's go experience. Like, it's not too much damage difference anyway.
<clears throat> Janoy, thanks for 14 months. And this bear has one attack with momentum that targets two. Oh, it targets two? Okay. Yeah, I haven't used that attack, so. Let's see, our wooden hand crossbow boy. Range damage seems pretty okay. What do you get here? Reliability, big time. Rare. I like that. Let's take the range damage in. An experience for you too. And our mage. Magic damage. Daily mana region plus four. I like. Could Gamba here, but 5% damage is still very good. I think you see a poison damage with this build, so you don't have to go for the magic damage. Is there something that could be better? Hmm. I don't know, but magic damage is not bad. Even so, and we don't know that we're gonna stay with the Druidic Staff even. If we get a different one. Oh wait, did we have poison damage as an option there? Fuck, we should have taken that then. Possibly. Hmm. Trinkets. Trinket for accuracy and damage. Mine is critical though. A light armor that gives plus critical. Or a novice power staff that gives propagation damage. Propagation damage is kind of cool because uh, we have propagation on druid attacks, so we could use this as a backup weapon to give propagation, and we could do that even on the offhand crossbow. Hmm. But minus accuracy is kind of sad. No, I think this one wins out. It's a good upgrade for whoever gets it, really. <sighs> Who do we want crits on? Crossbow, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I could have done stat, stat stick for a crossbow, but it's minus accuracy, which... I don't know. Not a huge fan of that. It's pretty unfortunate that it's minus accuracy. Let's build a gold mine. Let's increase the effects. Let's dig. Doo -doo. Let's work it again. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Let's get more gold. And let's build a gold mine. And I think we're working that as well. Hell yeah. Nothing to buy for that little gold. We pour. Yeah, we're greed. Big time greed. No materials used. I think that's fine. I don't know if I need material. I guess I can build a ballista though. One mounted ballista is kind of welcome here. Bum, bum, bum. Let's build it there. Yep, yeah, deployment. Yeah, I abandoned after holding day seven, just barely. We held day seven, but then we, uh, then we dipped out.
Hmm, can't really make it back if you go all the way there. Go here, I guess. How do you get the tower defense? Uh, yeah, essence. Essence, exactly. As you play more, you'll unlock stuff. Such a great game already. Yeah, truly. Jesus, they're stacked. Look at this. They are loaded up thick. Fucking thick, boys. Let's just get in there and mmm. What I'm saying? Let's go. Give them more poison. Bum, bum. She could use a, a secondary weapon, the poison lady, because she only has three base attacks and she has seven AP. What? You dodged? I do a poison attack on him. Thirty two enemies remaining. <clears throat> 
how am I doing last spell? I'm doing pretty alright, I guess. Doing quite alright. Kill these guys first. And you can have a bee sting on the armored guy. Punch! Okay, we'll get attacked here, but it should be fine. The spear guy. Pog champ spear guy is fucking killing stuff. That guy is dead to poison. Just let him come closer. Spear seems super strong, worth unlocking more than. Um, Spear is very strong now that we have 6 AP, because it means he can triple attack. In general, Spear has been serving me really well, even in the last playthrough. We got good value out of the Spear. I definitely wouldn't mind having stronger variants of the, of the Spear. So we attacked from southeast and northeast. What do we get? A book. Journeyman's Tome of Secrets plus two. Propagation damage and magic damage. This, just a movement speed and health. This, magic damage. Uh, yeah, Journeyman Secrets, um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> buck, 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 buck. Yeah, book is, book is fun, we'll take this. I did say that our druid should have some alternative weapon, so... Didn't realize that it was going to be his new main weapon, the book. Yeah, that's a strong book. That's a book that gives plus 7% to our propagation uh, attack. Whew. Very strong. Um, let's see. Physical damage rare or uncommon? Okay, nice. What do we have here? Propagation bounces. Poison damage. Mm, yeah, you're not really a poison boy. And I also don't want you to be the propagation. Eh, no, you're, you're already physical. Let's go. Why not take a new hero? I feel the more you have, the better. Because greed, building gold mines and sending everyone to work in the gold mines gives me more money, which can net me more heroes and stuff later on. That is a shit-eating grin, that's true. Rare poison damage. Hmm. Could be fun if we get like a dagger as a 
back up on this person, but I don't know. Do I really spec into poison damage just for the maybe? Also, we saw how nice it was to have focus on spear with our spear person. I think we, yeah, I think we roll. I think we roll and try and find something better here. Experience gain in the early game is decent. Could go with that. This is this is the same character who already got experience gain once. So you have very fast experience now. Multi hit is uh, decent for the skewer. Swift as the wind could also be decent though, since you hit so many enemies. <sighs> Night five or seven, you can do with a decent party with three heroes without any issues. If you get good gear and stuff, yeah, for sure. It seems, I think it all comes down to how much you've unlocked, honestly. I don't know how much this one gives you. That's why I never take it. But maybe this is really good. Maybe we get a lot and we can progress faster. You know, maybe it's good. A few additional. It's, it's like one or two per kill I've seen. Okay. Yeah, that's not very much. That sounds pretty bad. That sounds pretty bad, actually. Um... <laughs> oh, right. The quantity increases with each kill and is reset every turn. Ah, so if you have one turn where you kill a lot, then you get a very big amount, I guess. I think we want execution, because uh, very useful in our spear, dude. As far as I noticed in last playthrough. What do we have on our archer? Big accuracy. I like. I like accuracy. And roll. Armor block resistance. That doesn't really sound like archer stuff. Magic damage. Pogu. We do magic damage. Feels fucking awful. Our mage rolls a rare magic damage increase. Okay. Yep, yep. Could just be pussy and take like region or something, or mana region here or something, but uh, let's gamba. Bit of accuracy is not bad. Bit of accuracy makes me happy. Propagation bounces, definitely sounds amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Minus propagation damage, but we already have plus propagation damage, so... We don't really mind so much. Initiator. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. Now let's spend our money. This is production for phase. We can afford to work it. It's 200 to do the next one. So the best here is to actually do work this. Isn't it best to like work that one and upgrade this one too? We double work this one. And then I think the most efficient is to upgrade this one and double work that too. Because doing this we get 25 more gold for 90. But here, we can get a lot more gold. Yeah. Like this. And then with that gold, we're so fucking close to being able to do a 200 upgrade even. But we can do both the 90s.
I mean, I just want greed for more gold in the start, to be honest. Greed, greed. One house. We could build a house. I mean, getting more people is useful. Getting more people is kind of useful. Thinking. I guess if we build, we can actually build like a house down here. And we can afford one more gold mine. Is this the play? This seems to be the play. Big gold mine area. Oh my god. Then we can work that for even more gold. But actually scavenging is also yielding seven and yields seven bullshit too. And then we get something out of it. I think we just scavenge instead. Well, it's slightly less gold. It gives us um, materials as well and it cleans up efficiently. We can of course just delete this letter, but for now, it's actually not too bad to do that, I would say. <laughs> Let's build a ballista here. And let's organize. We have you defend here. Your lady 7 AP, right? Yeah. Should be able to hold your full mana, full mana on like everyone basically. Yeah, they're very close. We want to get the seer after the next like round, maybe even. Wait, perks remaining? Oh, did I not skill perk on? You. Uh, Archer boy. Guess steady aim on you, even though you're kind of mobile Archer. Because of propagation. Actually, yeah, propagation and multi hits. Oh, there, yeah, there's not even any doubt. Initiator is insane on you. You get value from both. <clears throat> Using workers for clearing out rubble is a trap while I got just destroy. In general, I would say yes, but in this case, I would say no, since it's 7 7 per worker used and I could get 10 gold. It's you know, seven gold and seven materials versus seven gold alone in this particular instance. In general, I agree with you, but we have we have the option to work an un unupgraded gold mine or clearing up here. Then I actually disagree with you. But in general, I agree. Fuck, this guy's kind of off position. And then you go here. All oh, right, the multi hit.
Okay, we cleaned up as much as we could there. Beasting is only one mana and propagates a lot, so actually let's use Beasting here. Holy shit, the center guy is poisoned for 120 per turn. Yeah, he dead. He real dead. Yeah, Mela here with low movement speed is definitely a bit sad. That's why I was thinking about getting the um, uh, movement when hitting the enemy on him, as it could be quite good. Nice, you insta kill that. Poison is very effective here. This bounces nine times though. to uh, once get more basic attacks as well good damage good damage Don't use melee, it seems pointless. I don't know, melee seems. Seems pretty alright to me, but yeah. I could, uh, could see how you prefer a range though. That guy does in two turns. Yeah, when you have higher AP, melee feels a lot more useful than it did in the start, though. I agree. Overcharge. Oh, damn. That guy dodged. <clears throat> okay. I just gotta kill like everything up there. Mm. 
this guy then? Good round, good round. Over here you have your mana at 16. Oh yeah, you have insane mana regen, so I don't need to worry so much. Could do the fireball, but the thing is fireball kind of anti sets up for propagates. Could do it like this though. That's a nice fireball. It bounced. Oh, it could bounce back. I didn't think about that. Shit. That's no good. I didn't think that it could bounce back to this person. Fucking hell. Um, okay, you actually live. Oh, that's very annoying. We're gonna have some panic now. Panic! And they'll die to poison eventually, and this guy dies in two turns. Uh... Oh, you just shoot one of these guys then? Doesn't really matter. Oh, you don't get panic if they move in, only if they are in the city for one turn, I think. Oh, it's that point. Okay. Yeah, then it should be fine. As seeing how I learned how the propagation can bounce, I think by that question I already understand how I learned it, but uh, <laughs> that sounds fun. Very nice. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. My first reaction was, can this shit bounce to me? But, you know. Fuck, I can't execute you. Thing did not have the same reaction. <laughs> That's funny, dude. I didn't even go full power. Pretty big value, actually. Fireball.
Alter, dann komm. Hit my stone wall a little bit. Alright, another night cleared. We're on day three. How's the game? It's actually really good. It's actually a really good game. I must admit. Check my new wares. Oh, I want gold. Plus block, plus armor. Plus move points, dodge and resistance. Some armor. Armor, health, minus move points. Not the most exciting stuff this time, I guess. The shield is kind of nice to have as an offhand. Just get some higher chance to stay full HP. Plus move points is pretty good. We could give these pants to my, um, my spear boy. Right now he has a mana pants, but yeah, he needs these pants actually. He's too slow. I like the accuracy pants more, actually. Pretty good. Okay. Let's do some levels. I say spear boy, but it's, you know... Is he is he a boy? Guilia? Guilia? Hmm. I just take more physical damage. Stacking up physical damage on your spear is pretty nice, I found. Feels good. Maybe accuracy, or maybe Gamba. Think we Gamba here once at least, right? Can't be that pussy not to Gamba here. General damage increase? Okay. Could do that. Some perks. Should we do swift as the wind? Be quick. We don't really need the multi hit so much if we rely heavily on the other attack. Could do cheer as well because cheer is nice for just cheering each other on. But what if we just take swift as the wind? The speed is pretty welcome, not gonna lie. Could also do a crit, I guess. Hmm. A cheer is good, man. Plus ten percent damage is a lot. I think it's too much. Too much to uh, not want it. Range damage increase and okay. Big poison damage could be pretty nice on him. He does have a slow death. Uncommon poison damage. Then we could try and find a dagger for him. Imagine finding a multi-hitting dagger. Oh, that would be beautiful for him. Yeah, I think we could commit to poison on this. He's already prepared to have a dagger too, because he has the initiator, so... Actually, 
Maybe I should have taken potent toxins even. We'll, we'll keep that in mind that you should probably have that. Oh my god, the rare rolls. Action points! I've never even seen that. This is the first time I see action points even available as a thing here. That's a thing? You just get AP like that? You can just get AP? I mean, we're taking it. There is no fucking question about it. Eight action points? Whoo! She has eight AP, boys. She's ready to fuck. Reroll Gamba? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, let's reroll here. Could take mana region, but she has pretty high mana region already. But it's useful. I mean, mana, mana on a mage with 8 AP. She's gonna need mana. She mage. 8 action points, dude. She's literally twice as good as the starting characters. <laughs> oh my god. That's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Extra range could be nice. The steady aim. Soul Reaper. Greed. Hmm. 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 We could greed for Soul Reaper and just see how it feels. Pretty hard to make an estimate of that though, since I'm not very used to paying attention to how much soul we get. But she does have propagate and extra mana. If there's any character that should have this, it should be her. So if it's ever good, it is now. Let's experiment. Let's take that. I cannot think of a better scenario to have that shit. Eight action points and a multi-propagating mage. Two different propagating propagate attacks. <laughs> like... It has to be now. Let's upgrade our gold mine. And then work it. And increase lots. And work it. So much money. Give me the money. And keep working the gold mines. Oh. Money. I want it. Yeah, it's still this 25 in this, so actually upgrade the third one now then. Yeah, we're full on greed here. The gold mines are coming online this time. We're gonna need more workers. Do we need more mana on anyone? No, you're actually pretty good on mana. You can check the gear. Sword. Druidic staff with plus mana region? too exciting here I think I'll sell my pants for more gold worth more to build a new house plus two workers rather than upgrading houses plus one true actually true building more houses is better Yeah, I think I want more houses even right now. We could also do this though. We don't need the workers. No. We could produce ones here. Actually, building a house is better than right now. Yeah, we have a use on the third gold mine, so we can use this. And then we can get um, we can get something done with our last worker as well. Could dig something up, I guess. 
could dig up a well, I guess. Could also build a scavenger thingy. Start getting uh, materials. Gold is more key though, early on. I don't know if I want to invest in materials yet. Oh, Let's see what we can do with the essence, by the way. Fourth gold mine. You can only have three. Can only have three gold mines. Any cool new things? No cool new things. Oh, this is new, I guess. Armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do it. Showers are good with the mucus pan ballistas. Yeah, sounds nice. Sounds nice. Maybe we build one of these. Oh, we can build something. Could start getting production of uh, weapons, but the gold mines are not done. Greed comes first. Greed comes first, I think. Let's just dig up this thing. Bum bum bum. Let's do a Monte Ballista here. Yeah, I can talk to a light person, but um, she doesn't have anything new for me right now. They're, they're action point buying in Dark Essence Lady. Why not take Waga? The fuck? What's there? Does she have action points again? No, dude, she doesn't have an AP anymore. I already took the AP. You mean starting starting action points thingies? Uh, I already did those twice. There you go, action points two, starting with uh, action points. So yeah. Yeah, there will, there will probably be even more, I guess, but for now, that's all she has for us. Mage, you hold up there. Do I do anything else? Yeah, I definitely do. We upgrade this. Oh, it's perfect. We got enough to upgrade that. Pretty rich, actually. Okay, so now, next turn, we need to see her really badly because now we can't see shit. The mist is too close. Long ass animations only to do no damage. <laughs> mm. 
wonder if there's animation stuff. Front and background, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's no speed things. I have cheer now. I have cheer now. Forgot. Execute. Yeah, but execute doesn't do anything there. Because I have an AUE attack that covers the same thing. But if we missed, we could have executed. Yeah, I abandoned on after night seven, I think. Yeah, night seven is the one I completed. Poison, poison, the Pega poison. Might have to go up here and help. Yeah, I didn't cheer the crossbow guy. I saw that too. I saw that too. Alright, let's do her turn first and see where we end up here. If she needs more help or not. You're not dead to poison yet, but you die to poison next turn. mana region so I shouldn't be too stingy with the with the use of mana
That guy not standing next to anyone is kind of shit for me. Yeah, Fireball does good damage though. Oh, so close. So close. Um, yeah, it's that guy. Now, I want to cheer, but it's hard for him to get close to each other since I'm kind of running to help up here. Maybe he needs to stay here. These splitters. Yeah, I think mage is fine. What does cheer do? Plus 10% damage. And it makes them happy. Yeah, that too. Happiness. Let's put poison on him. Outside of target range. Okay. Yeah, you have two AP, but I guess I could poison that guy again. But whatever. Holy shit! That was a lot of runners coming up out of nowhere. Cheer party? My outfit is full of guts now. Guts. This turn. Poison on these guys, pretty good. We want to propagate on these guys too. We could do that with the beast again. Kill him.
Pretty nice turn. The ballistas are doing some work helping out here and there. They're not really like doing a whole lot, but that little bit of help from ballistas really makes you feel so much more safe. Okay, she actually has a lot to deal with here. What the hell? Ooh, dead to poison. Dead the poison in three turns. Not even. He needs a hit. Okay. This guy's dead. Flame. Yeah, a little fireball maybe. Maybe fireball on these two, because he's not dead. I want to kill both of them. But they probably both died to... <laughs> yeah, they... Probably both die to normal hit. Let's do this. Singh just got a pistol with 45% crit power and two multi hits. I never even saw a pistol, man. I don't know if I unlocked them yet. I think I unlocked the unlock for it. But Singh started playing a bit before me, so he's farther ahead in um, progression. That sounds pretty cool though. Yeah, she's low on mana now. 25 monsters remaining. A lot of them is down there. Just keep hitting, I think. I don't think she needs help in the end. She actually looks fine. After all this running back and forth, I think I come to the conclusion that she looks fine. If I had a faster character, maybe I could have helped her earlier. I got 15 essence that round. Oh, you pay attention to it? Awesome, I completely forgot that. <laughs> so I got 15 in that round. That sounds very low. I mean, we're getting essence up to the thousands, so getting just 
15 more, even on a turn where she killed... I don't know how many she killed there. But yeah, that sounds pretty underwhelming. Yeah, 50, 50 is like nothing. Oh, whoops. That was the wrong attack. Even this attack, we'll have to do three. Three, and then one. And then two on that guy. Okay, that works, I guess. Did we just crit? I think we just crit. Spamming her fucking attacks, dude. Go punch. Yeah, she doesn't kill with punch, though, and then she's gonna get hit. Doesn't seem very nice. Because it's four movements to get there, and then we can get here, but yeah. He'll catch up to us and hit us, so no. No punch. Style points. It's not style points if you break your nose trying to do it. Wait. But did he destroy it? Oh. I thought he was hitting the... Jesus, dude. I thought he was hitting gold mine. I was like, what? But there was a, a barricade right there. Nice. He cleaned that up for us. I knew that he couldn't reach the gold mine. I looked at his movement, but then he attacked. I was scared. S tier. Great success. Spend 15 mana with a magical knight? Get 50 essence for spending mana? Yeah, right now we need to build a seer on this turn. Propagation bounces, propagation damage. Okay. Okay. Hmm. We have the plus AP. We have the plus AP though, but that's minus damage. So that plus AP we could get on someone else. Because hmm. <laughs> minus 10% damage is not so fun. What's this? Mana region and block. And this is plus bounces. I guess we could just take that and have it as a backup weapon. For her. Oh yeah, it has 10% stun. Well, that's just some stun uh, effects. Like, you need some stunning attack, right? So, it's not gonna do much on her. Like, she has minus 10% to all damage right now, and it's actually hurting her so much because she does so many ordinary attacks. I think it could be really big to get that AP thing on someone else and take this trinket on her. So her propagation will suddenly have 15% more damage and one more bounce. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, she has, I mean, she has plenty of AP. It's not like she's gonna struggle by having one less. 
and someone else will get one more so that's the nice thing so if you will go to someone else like this guy's minus reliability and yeah th this trinket is garbage this trinket can sell um speaking of garbage trinkets minus damage on him is kind of sad plus one ap does one ap even help him because yeah he he's at six because six is a very nice number for him what about this guy two accuracy get crit power i think more ap on this guy could be nice right because you can use that four times yeah i mean you could definitely do it with more ap sure he gets less damage but i think that's better if we find i need a mage someone who can take this i need to build an inn get a mage and hopefully uh you know a mage can can give that away the ap that he gets Let's keep working our gold mines. Seer first. Mm, it's better to make sure that we have the gold mines first, but I guess Seer is cheap. Seer costs like nothing, yeah. Let's just uh, destroy this. It's 140, so it's not really nothing, but... Yeah, let's do this first so we have it done. Push the fog back. I kind of need more people. Do you need to grind upgrades in this game? Don't need to. Evidently, someone beat the game without, uh, like, on his first playthrough. Well, not first, but you know, having played the game before, but on the first start. So technically, you don't need to grind upgrades. But it feels pretty good to do it. Like, the upgrades are really nice to get. Um, let's do upgrade or level ups first. Physical damage. Big damage. Yes. Stun chance, reliability, experience gain. Even more experience gain? What the fuck, dude? You're getting experience gain every time. No, we have to do something else. Oh, big mana region. Okay. Rare mana region. Okay, uh, he's now plus eight on his mana. So he's gonna be pretty good. Hmm. Could also make him thrifty, because having that free mana use is pretty nice. Even though he has more mana region now, we're gonna start using a lot of mana. Thrifty is very, very good. What do we get on this guy? This is not my mage. Hmm. <laughs> Accuracy is okay. Crit. Crit feels more like a bow thing, but I guess we could have crits on the crossbow as well. I feel like Thrifty is a must-have on every character, it's just so much mana. It is a lot of mana. It's a whole lot of mana, actually. I think we do... the accuracy upgrade on this guy. You could also do it with mana, though, but mm, we'll get Thrifty on him and he should be fine. Thrifty is very good overall. Two movement points or magic damage increase. Um, hmm. Definitely Gamba on the other side. 
damage or move points. Plus two is very good. That's a lot of speed. That's a lot of speed. Useful for getting to where you need to go. See damage, pick damage. Yeah, but it's common damage versus two move points. I think move points is way better here. Because um, it just allows you to get in position to use your stuff. And there will come a time when we need to run. Either into the enemy, away from the enemy, towards a different side. Or, you know, into an angle where we can shoot from. Move points helps you a lot in this game. Gamba. She has poison damage. She has the druid staff. She could take poison damage. Is it a key amount of damage increase though is the question, but... That gets 10% more. It does 30 damage. 33 damage. I guess if she stacks it on, on them a lot of times though. Because it bounces back and forth. I guess it's quite a bit. I guess it adds up to be a lot of damage. Is an opportunistic good for her? Right, you mean for the... This? Opportunistic thing? Yeah, kinda. But it's only like... One attack that has it. It's only her basic attack on her secondary weapon, which is a 68 to 81 damage, whereas the basic attack on my other weapon is 85 to 138 damage. So... Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. Don't think it's worth it. She's gonna be thrifty for sure. You're using so much mana. Okay, so we did level ups. I still have more slots where I can use my... My people. I want to build an inn and get plus one. Push mist. We already did that. Mist is pushed. Mist is pushed back, so that's done. Um, next up, we could try to get the inn and get a person. One more person joining us. We could also greed even more for one turn. Hmm. How are we looking on mana? We're okay on mana. Greeting one more turn would be kind of nice. Also, can't I afford... I need like 280 to go. Let me think here. Yeah, no. Building a house is like almost free right now because we can build a house and work this gold mine twice. That kind of pays for itself. Get a person for experience, etc. Um, yeah, you also get higher experience people later, it seems, if you don't hire them early. They are going to be higher level later, it seems. I'm going to do this for sure, because this is like... Pretty much free. Yeah, less people shared experience, higher level per person. True, our other character is going to level more. Um... Mm -mm -mm. But I wouldn't mind having one more character. I'm missing it a bit in these fights. I don't think we can get away with greeting again. I think we have to actually build an inn and get people. I think greeting one more time is too much. No, this is not New Game Plus. I never beat the game yet. This is my... Fifth playthrough? I think. Yeah, round number five. Huh? 
Let's go to the inn. What do we have here? We have a mercenary who's tall with giant blood. Simonus, bag slot health, move points minus, armor, physical damage increase. But you're an archer to begin with. Mm, okay. A trapper, an expert, an all night traveler. Ooh, combo. Combo on these two. You have physical damage increase. You have critical on this too. Oh my god, what a crit build we can do with this. 5% crit, 20% crit power, 7% crit. This person could be a crit lord. Wait, you have 7 AP as well? You must have a trinket or something then, right? Wow. Okay, I think we found our winner. I think I found my winner. Yep. Chloe. Chloe is joining and comes with a hammer. Hammer with crit doesn't sound too bad. It has a huge AOE around it. Okay, let's check out uh, Chloe. Chloe, why do you have so much action points? Yeah, you have the focus ring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Go Daedalus. Stacking Daedalus over here. Pogu. A rare mana region. Obviously crit power is nice, but a rare mana region I'm not gonna skip. Because having mana available is really nice. <laughs> Fiscal damage increase. Yeah, sure. Critical, uncommon crit. Nice. And critical again. Oh my god. We have a crit lord. I mean, it's only common crit increases, but still, this is becoming very high crit chance. This person. Physical damage is more worth. Yeah, maybe, but... We still want to be a, a crit lord here. Let's do the all damage increase. Stun chance, regen, poison, accuracy. Accuracy ain't bad, but we have six gamba. Let's go big gamba. Stun chance, momentum, daily regen. Uh, nope. 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 Still nope. Wow, we only rolled trash. <clears throat> the more you take an attribute while leveling up, the higher chance it shows again. Kind of a way to defining a bro. Oh, really? Didn't know it worked like that. That's nice, though. I mean, we rolled as hard as we could, guys. Sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, what's your HP region? Maybe you take coagulation to get some armor. Oh yeah, there's the crit thing, right? Plus 2% critical for each enemy taking a hit that is not critical. Yeah. We can be big crit perk. Stomp has a chance to stun at 60%. Stun chance increase. Uh, eh. Hmm. <laughs> Eight moves kind of slow for melee. It's all right. I mean, base is seven. 
but yeah movement speed is very useful we probably need to be faster so swift as the wind could be useful The thing is, this person has um, a massive AoE that can hit a lot of enemies, so Swiftest Wind could give some speed. It's low chance though, very low chance. This would be a stun ward, I think. Yeah, I know, Hammer, Hammer guy needs movement. I played him before, or I played Hammer before. They definitely need their movement. Okay, so let's position hammer guy and mage here. And put my archer and my spear guy over here. Build some defenses. Yeah, this thing we can destroy. It's gonna be in the way. Did I equip everyone what they should have? I think so. I think so. Hammer guy having minus 10% damage is a little bit sad. But he'll farm some experience. What the hell? The runner reaches all the way up to me? So fast? So speedy. Oh my god, the propagation is insane, man. They can they can get shot across the pond there, can't they? Here? Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping to do. Double Lancers. Okay. Fuck, I can't reach these guys. Even if I go up one... Yeah. I won't reach them. Why didn't I shoot that guy, actually? Shoot him again. Three dice. You can undo uh, actions like movement, by the way. I know. I just, yeah, I just did it as well. You, you can press delete and you just move back. Bum, 
pam pam pararam pam pam Forgot to cheer. Fuck. But it's good actually because we didn't kill now with the multi hit, so we still have multi hit on. Which is useful. Just Pepega poison him, he's dead, he can't do anything really. <clears throat> now down here... With four people next to each other, some tanky crawlers. Uh, let's give them the poison. Fireball too. Still early though. We burned through a lot of mana. Let's let's preserve a little bit. Okay. Jesus, what a man! He dodges everything. Twenty-five percent dodge, by the way. Three out of four. Okay. That crawler is a uh, Giga Dodge. An actual raid boss. Bonk. Die, dude. Hmm. Probably want to back up with this guy again. Could go air and hit, but then I get hit. We need a secondary weapon for this guy. So yes, something when he backs off. We can be patient for one turn though. Or the preserve uh, AP uh, perk could also be useful. Ow. Sword and Hammer. Yeah, Sword and Hammer is kind of nice. I had that before. Took a 
a lot of damage on you. Hmm. Those dodgy little fucks, man. They don't want to get hit. Execute. Could execute and then one, two, three, four, five. Should be okay. Your outfit is full of guts. You're not even close to the enemy. How the fuck did that happen? That guy's literally standing still, so... Does his turn ever end? <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's doing some stuff, you know. Now here, what is gonna happen here? We need to kill both of these, because they're invading. Not okay. Bonk. Bonk. I think we want to do the AoE hit here. Stunned one of them. Alright, that's my contribution. The rest is on the Fire Mage. Fire Mage, Electro Mage, she's, she's the everything mage. Propagation 12 on this, by the way. So here, 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 here. Yeah. I think we send a lightning strike from this and bounce it all the way down. You're dead before you do anything, so next up this guy needs to die. A speed little shit is about to hit us. Not okay. This guy's about to hit us. That's also not okay. Uh, might not be able to stop this guy from hitting. And he hits for a lot, man. He's strong as shit. Mm, could root, I guess. Entangle is kind of sad, though. It's just a big slow. Ex excuse me, what the fuck did I hear? Propagation 12? Yeah, just 12. We don't have to target these guys on this turn. They're not really doing anything. We have four actions, so we could maybe kill both these guys. Okay, we don't actually kill him, but we can lock him in place then, I guess. Oh wait, he's already slow, okay. Yeah, then we can shoot him. Why not kill? Well, we can't kill. We don't have enough damage, is why. Do do. But that works out pretty well. Uh, 
Attacking here would be really nice. We could do a massive attack. Let's go in and do that. Wait with your turn. Um, <laughs> yeah, these are pretty tanky. These crawlers. Whatever, just hit this one, I guess. It dodged. Very annoying. Execute one. Cannot. Execute needs them to be low. They need less than 15 HP in melee range. And this guy has 18 HP. Even if I went for that, I would have to end up here then. I think I want to go all the way back. Um... <laughs> You're dead in two turns. Got her, you speedy little shit. Be kind of good value here. We would hit this guy twice. All right, it's multi hit too, so we could actually do this. Yeah, I like this. I like it. Now over on this side. <laughs> Hammer boy. Slam! <laughs> yeah, just slam again. Really do need a secondary weapon on him. Let's start with propagation here. Good damage, good damage. Ah, uh, to, to, to do some fucker trying to break in over here. Not cool, not cool. Let's just fireball strike that away. Fuck it, man. Let's do this. Enjoy! <laughs> and he has 433 poisons on him. Nice. The super aids. Advanced aids has been applied.
Uh, hello? We have them stacked up information? Execute them! <laughs> he actually just killed everyone! He just murdered everything! What, oh, what on earth? I didn't expect that everything was gonna be gone, but uh, okay. Actually perfect. Is that Luna? <laughs> that was 55 essence in one round. Oh, was it? Nice. I don't know why I've been working on their armor, when I could just poison them. There you go, now you're dead. Oh, see your mana cost on this. The damage is very low on the stomp, and we want to kill them, so let's go in and actually just swing at them. Enjoy the bee! Oh yeah, all of them are dead to poison pretty much. This guy will take some time to die, but... They're all dead to poison over time. <laughs> Let's kill this. Five AP remaining. Do I have five? Oh, because my spear guy backed off with a lot of AP. Yeah, that's fine. Though Full damage doesn't matter if you crit. True. Just gotta crit hard enough. Right, you are, Ripperoo. I can't reach you. Torture him! Taste my wrath. The bonk machine. Okay! We held. Another successful day. Thanks, Ripper. Into the next. So much essence. I like it. Lucky Knight killed three crawlers without them dodging anything. Yeah, there was that one dodger, uh, one crawler that dodged everything, so. I guess he tanked. He took all their uh, RNG. Give me gold, give me an item. 9% critical? Plus, oh what the fuck is the, what are these pants dude? 20 health, 9% critical, 6% accuracy, plus one propagation bounce. 
total 104 essence for that fight, but you could have maximized it more. Yeah, I guess I could have. It had crossbow plus two with accuracy. Or the rusty spear with critical. Okay. I mean, rusty spear would be a big base damage increase for our uh, spear boy. The base damage is a lot higher. It's like 30 more damage total. 40. 43 higher max damage on the impale. Well, hmm. Propagation bounces. Yeah, let's see. What's our crit boy again? It was Chloe, right? Yeah. I mean, it's some extreme armor on those pants, too. So you wouldn't have to be so worried about getting hit, which is kind of nice. Because the hammer person needs to go in and, like, be aggressive. So even getting armor is not too bad. Can't check the shop for other stuff first. I could have, but I'm not doing it now. I suppose order of operations should be checking the store first before this. Yeah. I think we'll take the Greaves. More crits. Oh, I can look now without selecting? Oh, too late. Too late. We selectors. What do we have? We have a hammer. Crit power. We have a 20% crit power hammer. Are you serious? There's a crit power hammer waiting for us in the store. Like we have, we're, we're approaching 50% crit soon. We're going there and we find the crit power. Yeah, we, we're gonna buy this. There, there's no way we don't even need to think about it. Propagation bounces weapon here too, okay. Forty-five percent crit chance, dude. Forty-five percent crit chance, and we just got twenty percent damage increase on it, and we increased the damage on our weapon itself from you know, only a little bit, only a little bit, but still, this is this is gonna add up. This is gonna add up. It does feel bad to have minus damage on this person now. The focus ring would be much better on someone else who you know. Could actually need the AP, but not the damage necessarily. And thing is, we already have that on our crossbow guy. Do I unequip it even? Less AP kind of sucks though. Wait, did we have a crit trinket? No, we didn't have anything with crit, right? Oh wait, crit power. <gasps> oh, this is crit power. Oh my god, yeah, that's better. Oh my god, that's... Yeah, that's... Wait, not on this guy. Not on the archer. The heck? On the hammer guy. Okay. So now our hammer guy has even more crit power. He only used all the AP in like one round last time anyway. Exactly, it's kind of hard to use all of it. What do we get? Physical damage increase. Rare mana increase. Uncommon block increase. Okay, we got some choices. Obviously damage is nice if we want to bonk harder. Rare mana is always kind of appealing. Not so important on the hammer bro it seems though. Block could actually be the pick here. To not take that much damage. But damage output seems overall better than blocking. I don't know. Our armor is high enough, we probably don't need the block. He 
He will be positionally in a crowd of undead. He will be, yeah. That's kind of the dream scenario. So then the block is useful. Yeah. Armor is not block. That's true. Armor is not block. Block is very good combined with armor. Makes it more useful. What's the difference between armor and block in this game anyway? Block is a straight up damage reduction. If someone hits you for six damage, we have six block. We take zero. Armor is just HP that is not HP. It's armor. Yeah, I think the block might be the best pick here. Let's do it. Let's try and get the block up on the boy. Accuracy? Isolated? Daily health region? Oh, we could get a lot of armor. If we take the uncommon HP region, we could take the coagulate for big armor. And we'd actually have a kind of tanky character. I mean, accuracy also makes some sense, I guess, but... Combine it with the fact that Coagulate is 125% of the region. I suppose we might go crit, though. This 50% uh, crit power minus 10% damage thing... Should be very worth it for us, I guess, since we crit 45% of the time. That should be a worthwhile damage increase. Hmm. So maybe we want to take Dera immediately. And Coagulate will be delayed. No, we're taking this. We're taking the the thing. And I think I might take Coagulation right away now. 125% of our HP region we get as armor. That's a lot of armor. Like, we're gonna be sitting at, what, 70 armor? No need for armor if you just mega crit on everyone. True. True, true. I, I can't really say no to Deadeye, actually. Deadeye is good. We might go for coagulation later. We're set up for it, but yeah. Damage output is most important, I think, in this game. Because killing zombies quickly is like the goal of the game. What do we do on this guy? The, the, this guy. You get a rare mana increase. I don't know if I want mana on you again. Maybe you get crit as well. Yeah, big mana could be good if you go for a weapon specialist thing. I guess so. Hmm. Let's, let's try for this. I don't mind accuracy, but we have two Gambas. Gamba? Rare crit power. Oh, that's what we want to see on the other guy. I know you have low crit chance, but we'll try and increase the crit chance then. We'll be on the lookout for crit chance for this person. Big crit power. Could be worth taking initiator so you can multi-hit more. You're thrifty. I still have the quest to go to 40 mana. I do, true. Someone needs to get there. Might as well be a spear guy. Hmm. 
<laughs> Maybe Swift has a win now. He hits a lot of different targets. And we have talked about how movement speed is needed for him. It's unreliable movement speed, but it's movement speed nonetheless. Yeah. And Dudley? Mr. Dudley, our crossbowman. Rare experience gain. Poison damage. I'll take a rare experience gain. Sounds good. Range damage on common? Sure. Hey, Codex. Sure, sure. Um, maybe confidence, while full HP, more reliability. Reliability is not important for the crossbow, though, I feel. Reliable and... Yeah, maybe chair picking. Chair picking is actually good for him. He's very good at picking off uh, solo targets, yeah, true. That's something I do like all the time with him, so he should have that. Our expert mage gets rare damage increase. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll take the rare damage increase. Jesus Christ, dude, that is good for us. Uh, maybe reliability, actually. What's your damage diff on stuff? It's pretty huge. It's enormous, even. Yeah, the reliability is good on you. I don't dislike that. The uh, spell carry. Our magic uh, magic carry is here, guys. We could give cheer to you so you can cheer for someone else, like dwarf. And then dwarf hits harder too. Could also get steady aim for accuracy. Could be reliable with full health. Yeah, but he's not full health right now even. Maybe cherry picking on you too. Because you have propagate for killing people when they're clumped. Then, you know, cherry picking for when they're alone would be useful. I think so. Because you're the one picking off the solo targets on one flank. And then the crossbow guy is doing it on the other flank. So that makes a lot of sense to me. Okay. That was that. Now what do we have? We have 10 workers. We still have everything else to do. Jesus. I've been so slow at leveling. But... Let's check out what we have uh, for available trade. This, um, this run seems good. Yeah, this is probably... I mean, this is my best run yet. I think that's true every single run you play because of the constant progression. But still, this is pretty good. 5,000 Essence. We have a lot of Essence. Could unlock Catapults. But I think just unlocking more gear is nice too. Oh, uh, we unlock the two-handed sword, the rifle, and a magic orb. Hmm, mixed weapons at five. New Havens will start with plus 50 gold and 50 materials. <gasps> what? Starting with gold? That's one gold mine right there. Hmm. But it's 25,000. It's super expensive. It's super expensive to unlock that thing. Yeah, Watchtower apparently is very good, at least with Longbow. I think I want to do this. The two-handed sword, rifle, and magic orb seems interesting. Let's unlock them. So what's Sing Sing, right? This your type of game? Yeah, he knows me too well, dude. Sing Sing knows what's up. He knows me too well. He's not wrong. It's a good game. A 
700 gold. Jesus, dude, our economy is booming. Let's keep booming it. Let's upgrade the gold mine. I think, and then we want to get weapon production. Yeah, we do want we want to push fog. Let's do this first. Push fog. Back your goal. Recruits. Recruit, upgrade tavern, recruit again. Wait, can we already recruit that much? We already have four characters. Is that even a thing? No, we're at four out of four. What is it that limits your capacity? Is it the upgrade? Yeah, that's the upgrade. Yeah, we could try and go for a fifth character, but I want production of weapons and stuff. And boom the economy. Um company? Um company. Yes, boom the um company a little bit more, as we're only on day five. Both of these could do with that upgrade, so one more house somewhere. Let's destroy this thing. Let's destroy this. More real estate. Yeah, I'm commoning is very important. You're absolutely right. I think I want to upgrade both my gold mines here so that we have huge like we're just creating jobs, right? This is my stimulus package chat. There we go. Look at this very well stimulated village. Good healthy economy, triple gold mine all upgrade on day 5. I'm commonly rich. Yes, yes, yes. Now we want armor maker because everyone needs a good piece of armor. We know that. We'll get one immediately. 5% magic damage. Hold up. Your propagation damage. This would be ma damage to everything. Hmm. That's still not better, I think. But actually close. The block is useful as well, as opposed to the stun, which is useless. Five damage to everything. I don't know, one more bounce? We're at like 12 bounces. I think this is better. The 10% stun doesn't work though. She doesn't have any single stun ability. So then that's 0% stun. But four block is four block. Oh shit. We have a crit cape. Hmm. Now this guy's a crit power thing, but that is a crit cape. Do you have any opportunistic attack? I guess we can still close this, right? And open it later. We should be able to. You do have an opportunistic. Hmm. He even has an opportunistic attack. So he would make use of the entirety of it. Huh. Crit chance is better and crit power? Oh, for sure. For sure. This is definitely better. The question is only if we wanted more than we want something else. I think we do. This seems really nice. Crit cape for our crit boy. Okay, he has 54% chance to crit. He, he's more likely to crit than not to crit, guys. And that means we just unlocked something here. By the thick mama. We have 50 critical. Ronin armor. Ronin boots. Oh, that sounds really weeb. I like it. Very nice. Um, so now we can think, what do we want to do? Next turn, we want to upgrade and get more, get one more character. But for now, 
We could upgrade our armor maker. And we could upgrade the level of items it makes. How long does one game of this take? Oh, quite a while. Quite a while, actually. Yeah, let's just upgrade our armor maker a lot. Make it real good. Oh shit, you can make it even better. Part of me wants to upgrade ballistas even. Make them double shoot. The seasoned operators. Two attacks for ballistas. Pew pew. No more mana well strat? Uh, no, we haven't been going for mana well. Found other ways to get the mana back. Just by leveling and stuff. Um... Um... I wanna build something more first though. We have one armor maker. Let's make a blacksmith, I think. Yeah, I think a blacksmith is what we need. We'll build it here. Bum bum bum. Okay, now to build defenses. Damn, taking my sweet ass time, but you know, it's important. Oh yeah, blacksmith. We can check it out, see what we find. Physical damage plus 6%, minus dodge plus poison damage. We don't have physical poison guy though. Momentum, reliability, steel sword. That could be the backup weapon for our uh, spear guy. Sounds pretty good. You also don't have a trinket right now? Is that true? You don't have any trinket? I'll give you a trinket, man. Yeah, let's just get the weapon. There we go, you have a weapon. And uh, let's get the accuracy and crit power, I guess. Do you want AP? Maybe he does want AP now. Minus damage though. Minus damage is very sad. No, I don't think I want it. Build one there. Mage and you up there. And crossbow guy plus spear guy here. It looks really open, but I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Night six. Ghosts! We didn't actually have any ghosts last time, but now we do. Last time we didn't get it, didn't get any ghosts even on night seven. So there's a certain randomness to even uh, whether ghosts are appearing or not. What type of enemies you get and all that stuff. 
Yeah, spooky boys are here to steal my AP. I don't like it. Ghosts are really nasty. They, uh... How? Okay, so what do you have? We have... This thing, is it? <sighs> yep. Minus, minus two action points. It's six range. Okay. Disgusting. Maybe uh, we poison this guy. I think double poisoning him is gonna slow him down a lot. There you go. Now he's not so quick. Alright, now the ghost is standing in completely still. Excellent. Oh, you can let the seer tell you what's gonna be the next wave. Right. Yeah, that sounds kinda nice, I guess. This guy can't move, so we shouldn't be too worried. But what if a ghost pops out here and steals my AP? I'm a little bit worried. Brace yourself. Twice. Very braced. Doom, doom. Okay, obviously you go up and bonk. Goes without saying. Have fun with the poison. <laughs> That's so much damage. They insta-die, but they would also have like a million poison per turn if they lived. All right, we have the... He can he can dash around, can't he? He can. Look at that. Yeah, true, true. He can dash around and get back home. Very nice. Pango player. Pango player. I swear. I still need to get better sidearms in general. Most of my characters don't have any sidearm, so... Or I guess two out of two don't have any sidearm. I cheer for you, you cheer for me. All right, you move when you do that too. Um, it's fine though. Music is such a banger in this game, man. 
So good. Very appropriate music for this type of game. Poison that guy. Now we're chilling again. And on this flank. What happens here? That's a whole lot of death. And I think we keep bursting through our mana a bit by doing this. <laughs> oh my god, the fucking spell carry is here. Bliet. Closer. Just walk away again. Thing just finished Epoch 4. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Melee character seems so weak compared to your AoE spellcaster. Um, yeah, but you don't really want to have only like AoE spellcasters. It's good to have a mix. Oh shit, dude, there's a ghost. He stole my AP. That's a lot of archers. Yeah, we only have five AP this turn. Uh, okay, that ghost is problematic. He's not standing next to anyone, so I can't propagate bomb him. It's annoying. We can hit him three times with this and he dies. We can also hammer him to face, maybe. Uh, this could be a job for hammer guy, actually. Go in there and take care of it. I think so. Show your worth. There we go. I like look that that hammer guy is lower level and seriously like not as geared up as uh, Julia here but he still did quite a bit of work there so they can still be useful uh, let's do this here obviously she's strong too though I mean yeah she uh, she is really really powerful I will not deny that but I've had melee characters that felt really amazing before, so... So just don't underestimate them. Um, We can bounce like that, and then it goes back like that. Cheer. 10% damage for both of you.
That's a lot of armored guys down there. And on someone, one of the armored guys. This guy still has a lot of armor. Wait, he has poison on him? Yeah, he does. Mm, this guy then. You! Sword guy here. Let's go down and stab ones here. Close! Ah, you can do a multi-hit! But now you don't run so far. Ah, I guess it's fine. They can't catch you. Nice. Another ghost down in the south. Uh, is he gonna AP me? I don't think he reaches me. No, he didn't. Nice. No AP reduction. Damn, that's a lot of rushers. So many speedy boys here. Less speedy boys now. Yeah, they could handle. They could not handle the bonk. See, if he had a bow or something, it would be fucking amazing right now. Yeah, you can give yourself some dodge. That's all you can do. down here just have the meet up for the 10% damage increase this is this is a lot now it's a little bit less Yeah, we could have used the force skill. Maybe I should have. We could still do it, actually. But, mm. yeah, I should have used it there, I think. We'll save it for next turn. Hmm, could kill two if I walk. I guess it's fine to hit here. Not too bad. I don't think anyone reaches him really, so that looks fine.
And that guy is in range. What's your HP? So it would bounce on you. One, two, okay. So that's once, twice, so three times on this guy. And it's 84 to 104. Let's do this. I think. I actually survived the entire thing. Okay. Well, we can poison him. Seems to be a very effective way to deal with this guy. He can't move now, and he has 46 poison. I think we poison him again. Get rid of him. Yeah, now, now he's just dead. Don't need to worry about him anymore. Harass the birds a little bit. And take out the archer. Cool. As for up here, we did the move with him. That's just what we want to do with our mage. I see two guys standing next to each other. Can these guys be targeted? They can be. Ooh, then maybe going in and poisoning them could be a big play. Yeah, let's propagate in some poison on the back line here. They're actually all dead. Apart from that guy, he's not really dead. Back up and shoot these guys. All right, good turn. Cleared those guys and yep, yep, yep. All good. Oh shit, dude, there's three ghosts! No! What is this? Two more ghosts pop out of nowhere. That's a lot of ghosts we might need backup, dude. I don't know if these guys can be held by my mage alone and we run with our... Dude? What the fuck, man? Use fourth skill and run? <laughs> Kinda. Oh, uh, Jesus, dude. Taking one step in even is dangerous here, too. Yeah, I think we just blast what we can and get the fuck out. We do want to pass AP, though. Take one step, hit more. I mean, we take one step and hit more, but then we're also a lot more stuck. Let's see here, that's a lot of units, man. I think I want to start the fire on these guys. They might die though. Let's start one here. One here. Yeah, I mean, we could do this. We could take one step, then we'd one, two, three, and then, yeah, we would hit, we would hit seven total. 
Maybe we have to risk it. One, two, three, four, five, Scary. Yeah, okay, we can do it. And he got a movement point regenerated, didn't he? We did regen a movement point for hitting. So that was kind of nice. Um, hmm. I think I don't want to double poison this guy. That ghost is dead already. This ghost is going to be a scary one. So, maybe I just... Start one nuke here, and then I think I start two nukes on that ghost. Okay, that brings him really low. He's at 70. Okay, nice, nice. So we can kill him. Let's just kill him. Get him out of here. Nice. So... This ghost is still moving though. Fuck. Kinda wanna double hit that ghost now. Or at least hit him once. Oh, double hit and he will be really mobile. Can he even reach me then? He can't. Yeah, I think I gotta double hit him. So I preserve my AP. Like this. Now he's standing the fucking still. No moving. Stay where you are. So that ghost is not doing anything, and this ghost is not doing anything. Ghost situation cleared. It's the rest that I'm worried about now. This runner is gonna run in and hit, but it doesn't hurt so much getting hit by a runner. The rest looks fine, actually. I think we dealt with it. Bit scary, but we dealt with it. Let's go in and party with our boy. That crit, though. Crits for days. Okay, you're stuck out here, which might not have been the best idea, but he has some block. So it should be okay. He should survive just fine. Kill this thing. Wherever Chloe walks, death follows. That is very true. Yeah, I know he has evasion, so we can dodge a little bit. I'll do that. I don't know why I didn't do it immediately. But... Okay, so one of them is gonna reach and hit, but that should be fine. We can tank that damage without losing our armor even. And we can of course try to dodge up. All right, that's it. The Pepega Ballistas shooting the same targets. Bit unfortunate that ballistas don't have like uh, any form of more intelligent targeting, not overkilling, you know. But maybe it would be too good. Twenty-one enemies remaining. We're almost done here, I think. Let's just uh, turn up the pace. The fuck? You dodge me? Fuck you! Oh, 
What's your mana region? Plus seven and you full mana? Bonk. I could have cheered here first. Let's group up for a cheer. Plus eight. Hold up. You have mana left? Yeah, bring that home to the kids or. Or you gotta leave it here? How much mana? Oh, how convenient. I have one more mana to spend. Die! Mm -hmm. You actually do need to preserve your mana though. Feels bad, man. Yeah, that bird was uh, panic, huh? Shit, not gonna get it perfect now because that bird was in uh, our territory. I didn't realize. Didn't see that it was in. But he was. We lost. Yeah, might as well abandon the run. Still get S. Materials, gold, reward. Still S. My darkness harvest dude, dude just got uh, got to plus thirty five on the second turn of the night. This is actually quite useful. Hmm. Yeah, it might be good. Oh Jesus, look at all this. We have stuff. Production. Mmm, yes, produce, produce, produce. Oh, what is this? Novice's Druidic Staff plus three. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's so a way better Druid Staff. I get it. The poison is 50. Oh boy. Poison 50, and it's 4 mana region, which is also nice. Okay, th that's a good one. Let's check the next one. It's the Scale Armor of Crit. 8% damage, 12% critical, 15 armor, 44 armor, 44 health, minus 1 movement speed. Oh my god. Hammer Boy, what are you wearing? You're wearing bullshit. Oh god, dude. Oh god, I don't even know who wants this. We have a Druidic Staff that's really good, we have an armor that's really good, what's the third thing? Trash! Okay, but we got two really sick options. Oh god. Dude, the crit, man. The, the crit, right? I, do, do I... It has to be the crit, right? Hammer dude is already low on mobility. Yeah, this would give him minus movement speed, so he would be at 6 then? Check the store first. We could do that. Yeah. We can check the store and see what we find. Maybe we find a weapon that's more appealing for anyone. Also, we have stuff. We have apparently completed something. Oh yeah, there's a perk that uh, removes the minus one as well. 
Unlock the warp gate defense, allowing heroes to instantly teleport to another warp gate. Huh. Okay. Sounds useful. Do, 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 do. More crossbows. Extra resources for Haven sounds nice. Yeah, but it's 25,000, dude. It's so much essence to unlock that. It's a crazy amount to unlock that. Bum, bum, bum. So yeah, it, it's good, but it's... Let's see what we have here. A gun! What do you mean a gun? Just a rifle? You just fucking shoot someone? Rifle shot. Hip shot. Suppressive fire. Archer? Assassinate? <laughs> a sniper. Hmm. No block, isolate at 100%. Inaccurate. Oh, the hip shot is inaccurate, huh? Okay. Interesting. Well, that's a gun at least. Magic orb. Short bow. Critical bow! <gasps> I did say I wanted to get a weapon for him. A secondary weapon? What bow did I say? I said I want a bow, a weapon, a bow, and this is a bow! Look at it! It's a bow with crit. That's beautiful. A crit bow, dude. This run is starting to feel blessed. What is this? Accuracy, experience, okay, not so good. Yeah, yeah, we're buying the bowl. I'm already buying the bowl. Outside of that, not too much exciting stuff, I guess. Range damage could be good for the archer, I guess. But first let's... First let's go to Hammer Boy. So now he has his backup weapon, putting him back at 51% crit. Now the crit armor is even better. Yeah, I mean, we're taking, we're taking the armor. Wait, it wasn't here. Oh, it was on another one. What do we have here then? Mine is critical. Disgusting. Plus physical damage, though. Maybe Spear Guy? 9% damage increase. But he rolled, like, critical damage. So lowering his crit chance would be kind of sad. Maybe just... I don't know. Maybe just trash. I guess this... It's slightly better than what we have, so... Yeah. Was it this thing? It was this thing. Yeah, we're taking that armor. That, that armor, we have to use it. Two-handed sword. Big damage, as expected. Some momentum attack. A charge. Sword blast. Okay. Offhand sword. Okay, health and dodge. That sword is so pog. Yeah, you like the attacks of it or? Two handed sword for a win. Yeah, we could put this uh, two handed sword on our um, on our spear guy, I guess.
Yeah, uh, the other stuff is not so good. You hit for 2,800 damage? Non-crit with it? What the fuck? Non-crit? Excuse me? What, single target? 2,800? Are you serious? Momentum is insane. How? Replace with a hammer? Oh, uh, on hammer guy? Hmm. I guess he has the crit power thing. Maybe crits is really good with a great sword, yeah. I kinda like him being a hammer guy though. Yeah, I think we replace this guy. I don't know about replacing the spear itself, actually. I was thinking replacing the the steel sword. Because the spear is actually, even though it's a rusty spear, I like the spear's ability. But maybe I'm overvaluing it. Hmm. Nah, fuck it, man. I'll, I'll find a new spear for him. I believe in the spear. You get the armor. Holy shit. A hammer guy just came in, took all the epic loot, and now he's gear capped. What happened here? Sixty-three percent chance to crit, man. And he just got damage increase as well. <laughs> yes! Let's go! Let's go! Mr. Critical, they call him. Uncommon HP upgrade, which again would give him more armor but does he need that though 103 armor i think now we need more crit power or something else maybe speed we gotta we gotta roll here yeah i mean there were good options but can't be a pussy you know we gotta try now we're probably gonna get trashed because we had healing received. Okay. We got a common version of it instead, so we downgraded, but still. We got a gamba sometimes, you know. Gotta try. Maybe armor master now so that you don't get slowed down. Because you're at movement 6, that's really low. You're so extremely slow right now. Yeah, I think Armor Master makes the most sense for you. Some speed. Excellent. Let's keep leveling. Who do we have next? Spear guy? I did say I was gonna do... Oh my god, rare experience gain. It's kind of late to get experience, but still not too late. It's day six, I guess. Fuck it, man. Go. You're going to level up. You're going to be a hero. I did say I was going to give him crit chance. And he got his crit chance reduced before. Because he has crit power, actually. So not too bad to get more crit. I guess physical damage is also nice. You're not really critting often, but... Yeah, physical damage, 35. I mean, it's, it's a lot. His ordinary attack. I guess we take that. If we get a rare crit or something, it would be lovely. Hmm. 
Maybe relentless on him. Relentless, when the hero has three or less move points remaining, attacking with a melee range skill adds the effect 10% damage. And no armor piercing, or it becomes armor piercing and no block. Yes. You can also take first blood, but he's he's always on the same side as someone else. Like, first blood is critical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would allow him to get decent crits, I guess. Oh yeah, I don't think I got Coagulate on the armor guy yet. That's true. Yeah, it's a big crit. He would have 20% chance to crit with his AoE attacks on full HP targets. Thing is, he's in the lane, lane, Dota, uh, with someone who has Propagate. So I think Relentless is easier to make use of and actually get value out of. Crossbow guy? What do we have? A fuck ton of armor, if we want that. Do you have the full HP thing? You don't. Should you? Hmm. Maybe you're a weapon specialist. You could do this thing twice. Weird seeing someone using archers and not druids. I'm pretty new to the game, dudes. I'm still on my fifth playthrough, so... It's not really an optimization choice. It's just I kind of use what I get so far. I just mean nobody uses melee. Oh, I see. Nah, I like melee. Melee is cool. Melee is for cool kids, man. Hmm. Yeah, specialist sounds pretty cool. 20% damage and plus one use. You don't even have backup weapons yet, so why not? Why not have him become a specialist crossbowman? Julia, our mage, rolls uncommon magic damage. She has been rolling magic damage a lot, 37%. Uncommon damage, oh god, dude. Poison damage plus, yeah, I mean, but 8% but to all damage is way better than 10% to poison damage. 8% to every attack. Yeah. That's solid. That is really good. Poisonous. Each enemy attacking in melee gets 20 poison. What the fuck? <laughs> so you're supposed to be tanky with that thing. Um, <laughs> what are you? You might want the potent toxins now. Because you still have... The druid staff with poison. And we increased poison ones on her. Melee is more than good enough with the right weapons and gear, but it's no short bow, that's clear. Are you rhyming over there? And um, am I adding to it? First blood for crit. Yeah, she could have crit. I don't really want crit on propagate always. I don't necessarily think it's always good, because then you you have like a line of enemies, and then along that line you crit, that guy's dead, and now you, you severed the line, if that makes sense. So now you your propagate is gonna stop. I don't know. I don't necessarily think that crit is good for us. I think poison. She's gonna have very strong poison. Oh, you still didn't do your levels. Uh, right. I mean, range damage. 32 armor is, I guess, welcome. But we don't even have the full HP perk, so... Propagate chains before damage. Does it? 
So it does not break if it does damage in between. Hmm. I might I might do rare armor actually. I don't know, 32 armor could be useful. But 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 damage. Oh fuck me man. Let's go. Let's go. Poison damage? Reliability? Poison damage is okay here. But we could also roll. Poison damage is only a small part of what he does. It's 10% better at a small part of what he does is kind of sad. I'm gonna roll. Daily mana region rare. Okay, yep. Thank you. I'll take it. Now he has mana for days. So what are we doing today? We're collecting our gold. And we're pushing the thing. Seems reasonable. 1,100 gold. We're rich. Increase hero capacity by one? Yes. And go to the inn. Let's see what we have. I guess we could have gone to the inn and see what we have first, even. Oh yeah, you're using some orb thing. Plus one AP? Hero. I never had a hero. Plus 6% crit, minus dodge. Okay, okay, crit and AP. Pretty good. Pretty good. Trinket slots, no, no, no. Physical damage and crit. And then those two cancel each other out. Back slot, move points, move points, range damage. Oh, you look like a winner. You have 8 AP. You must have a trinket on you then. Right? The purple mage. Uh, the mage is just one more mage casting the last spell in the center. It's kind of what we're protecting. We're protecting the mages. So that's like HP for our base, if that makes sense. Augustus seem good too. Three mana, two mana per day, one move point, range damage, dodge, range damage. I guess he has two range damage things, move point, mana. I don't know. AP seems so much better. And crit. I don't know. Th this guy is pretty good. Okay, we recruit this person. Let's see what they have. Vivian. So you have a wooden crossbow right now. I might want to swap your weapon out for a longbow or something. Or a gun. Or a gun. I never used a gun before. Monk a gun? It would be fun to try out the gun just for uh, out of curiosity, you know? Let's buy it. Here you go. You have a gun now. Make sure to shoot people. Yeah. Oh, that crystal amulet is minus 15% experience. But it's not minus damage. Hmm. I guess you gotta be under leveled. 
but have a lot of AP. Hmm, hmm, do I want that? Ah, minus XP is nasty, man. Don't take that. We'll get your secondary weapon. We just need to find what we do here. Maybe crits. You already have crits, so yeah. Crit seems fun. Mm, I want range damage. Range damage, damn it. Oh, that's an isolated attack. Okay, the assassinate. Um, Gamma once. Nice. All the mana we need. Big experience gain. Okay, okay, you gotta catch up. Catch up. Reliability. Crit power. Reliability sounds good. Reliable gun? Wait means it's reliable. If it does not work, you can always hit him with it. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Reliability. Then again, damage increase seems almost better on the gun, to be honest. But it's, it's rare reliability, man. Who knows what weapon we're going to be using in the future. Ah, uh, gum, 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 gumba? Crit! Range damage! Oh, big range damage. The rare crit! Huge crit! My team is so critical, man. So critical. Surely we need steady aim if we have a gun. That that seems to go without saying. Steady aim. Gun. Big critties. Big critties. Critical master. You don't really hit a lot of targets though. So crit master is pretty bad actually. Maybe cheer. One more cheering person. Ah, cherry picking sounds very gun. Very gun. Yeah, shoot the lonely people. If you're lonely, you get shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Ah, Jesus, dude. We, we can do so much. I know we can build more houses, but... Yeah, let's destroy one here. Could probably build one more house. Oh, we can't build more houses. We're limited. Six out of six. Okay. Nice. Then I will do this. Hmm. Upgrades, upgrades. I think another armor maker, maybe? Another armor maker and then upgrade the one we have. I should probably build a scavenger cabin thingy tent. Item level plus plus. Item level plus plus plus. Honey. Thirty production would just make three fucking things in one go. Yes. A 
Okay, so first we get something here. Critical and fizz damage. Isn't that worse than the crit thing we had on that guy though? 3% fist damage for 2% of my crits. That sounds better. Hmm. Yeah, I could give the other one to a gun lady too. Gun lady needs something, I guess. That's a better trinket than what she has. Okay, this is the high armor or high level armor thingy. 12% accuracy. Okay, okay. A lot of reliability. Wait, what does my spear guy use again? Ah, uh, yeah, that's better. Plus movement, 33% reliability, accuracy, 17% dodge. Yep, gladiator armor sounds pretty good for you. Okay, let's see then. You... Did I take it? Oh, there it is. You get that. Where's my gun? You can have the cape. I guess it's physical damage increase, but... We're min-maxing a little bit here. Let's get this over. On spear guy. Physical damage. Sounds nice. Even though she has crits. She can get some accuracy and crit power. Very nice. Okay, so how much is trash here? Almost everything, right? <laughs> I think I only have trash now. I guess this weapon could be good for liability for you for now. Yeah, everything here is not trash. Alright. Good. Sell these pants. Sell that shit. I guess the AP things... I find it hard to part way with them. I'll leave them. Who knows, maybe I want them at some point. Maybe you want AP, you know? Probably not, but maybe. Thank you, Rogish, for the sub. And finally, we have 51 golds. Did I build a scavenger camp and just start praying to get some form of materials? Yeah, I could have upgraded a ballista, I guess. Could have done that too. But this will result in upgraded ballistas in the future, is the plan. Okay, I think we're ready. It took a while, sorry chat, we're slow as fuck, but uh, a lot of new things happened. We have more people, 
We have more people and that's exciting. Let's put you together with a hammer guy and then the three of you guys can probably defend up here. Gone lady behind here. Spear guy over here. You over here. Hey. What's up? Looks like rain. Also, thank you, Rogwish, for the 54. Can't remember if I said thank you for that, but you get a thank you again if I did. damage almost holy shit the isolate shot okay good at picking off uh, tanky individuals hey waga waga hey hey waga hey waga hey sup md how are we doing today Dodged. Did the gun. The gun, though. Oh, yeah. Extra dodge against that. <laughs> right, let's finish up this turn up here. He's dead now. One poison is enough. But he will die. I hate the rifle. Proper F tier for me. Okay. Yeah, it's my first time using it, so I'm just gonna make my own opinion, I guess, as soon as I've used it a bit. Lightning on them here, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe it's too early. Four moves. I think we're just gonna snipe. Hell yeah, you can do stuff from far. I forgot. You can actually do stuff now. Look at that. He's pretty good too. Actually shoots pretty well. Here you go, take some poison. Completely dead. Closer. Mm. 
One benefit of stacking crits is that it doesn't matter what weapon you use. Ah, that's true. Yeah, I might get the 500 damage in one hit at the moment I get uh, a crit with a whoa, with the rifle. We should be done with that challenge. So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you guys. They did not want to go down. <laughs> Mr. Crit. Shortbow. A uh, shortbow seems really nice, for sure. If I could get an epic shortbow, I would like that. center is kind of here if we could get here and hit like this that would be cool but it's scary I think we're just gonna go here first Good cleanup. Ah, uh, kind of hard to run up and do cheering now. One, one, two, three. Okay, maybe we can do it. Like this. Then he kills for sure, so that's nice. That's the inaccurate attack. Inaccurate X2. I don't know what inaccurate X2 represents exactly. Is that just a doubles their dodge? Oh, but yeah, it increases their dodge even more. Ah, the farther away. Right. Okay, sure. Pop one more, I think. Good. 
slow him. Slow him. And jump behind the wall. Gamer move. Yeah, I expect them to dodge there, but that's fine. <laughs> Holy shit, those ballistas. I mean, if I can hit six people with a bow, I think we're happy to use the bow. Okay, that guy's dead anyway, though. Maybe we keep trying to go for some crits here. Now for the mage. What is there to do? These guys kind of need death, I think. Sadly, two of them didn't decide to die. I bite my wall a little bit here. Do not like. Oh yeah, we got a monster inside our town. It's up here though. Or do you mean somewhere else? This guy will take care of him. We haven't dealt with North yet. I just single nuke these guys, get them out of here. Whew. Down north. Got the healthy amount of uh, zombies here.
Wait, why did I jump here? The propagates. It's only propagation x3 though, so it can't reach me. It's fine. It's fine, we know what we're doing. Trust me, I'm an expert. It can reach me, fuck. If I put it there, but if I put it here, it's one, two, three. So it can't reach me from here. But that's a waste though. We'll just hop back and do it, I guess. Hmm. That was a waste, but then we can reach here, so nah. Not really waste. Yeah, Ballista should kill that guy, but then again, this guy is actually rushing up on the Ballista. Oh boy. He's fast enough to close distance to the Ballista. Do not like. Do not like, do not like. He is alone though, so he could be sniped. Before we continue here, let's hop in with you. Pretty decent chance of him just dying here. Here is a pretty good spot to do the AoE attack. Here, here, and yeah. I'll try big sword. I part of me wants to. So this is just a big single target hit. They have thrust. This momentum based. Charge. So we can charge through them. Sword blast. Oh, okay. It's like that. Then I think my spear attack is better here. Go here and spear attack. I don't even see him writing anything, <laughs> I just hear it. Gun. Mm, no need to do that to attack, I guess. But then again, you have mana region. Plus 11. Oh, Jesus. Well, then you might as well do it. <laughs> I like the sound of it. And then that attack is guaranteed to miss, pretty much. Kick W. Cannot aim. Ow. 
so we have one right next to us. Yeah, crit boy is working pretty well. He uh he crits. It's him right now. He's uh, definitely doing He's definitely doing damage. That is for sure. Might just do some precise shots here to try and snipe these guys out. Good, good. When you build a guy to be a melee tank and he still works better with the short bow, you know the short bow is just ridiculous. To be fair, the build we gave him was pretty general, it's just damage. Like, extreme crits. Not too surprising that that's gonna be good on a... ...on a bow as well. But yeah, the short bow is good, I agree with that sentiment. Heavy armor dudes here. Let's just throw the poison again, I think. down here keep it clean get rid of them now what's happening up here we're we getting charged again fucking hell they're rushing I cannot execute him Objects too, that's fine though. Do have execute. Question is, do we want to walk up? Oh, come on, man. Okay, so you can walk through here and execute. You can even go here and then here. We just need this guy gone and this guy gone. Guy is not even executable. Fuck. My bad. Could have cancelled that movement.
Wait. Oh, shit. I can't take that move back. Um, I didn't really want to jump up here. Can I change my mind? Ah, shit. I'm going to get hit. But now if I shoot them with the crossbow, it slows them. This guy reaches me. Yeah, this is fine. It will be fine. It was not really intentional to go here, but it should work out anyway. There we go. No reaching me. You guys did your turn. Oh, Ballista saved my ass. Thank you, Ballista. 45 enemies remaining. Yay. It doesn't get old, man. His crit does not get old. It's so much fun. Right. A lot of these guys are dead already. To the poison. So no need to worry about them, really. Don't dodge the crit though. Only 37 enemies remaining. You have big mana region, so you might as well use some more mana here. Welcome back, bad lobster. That looks pretty good. Damn, he live. Try sword or not? Yeah, no. No sorting. Ah, oh, it's too close. <laughs> okay, the gun is nice for destroying lancers, though. 
something to be said about that. Okay, he's big poison now. Attack my ballista. Are you ready for a chat? Wait, it's like that. How you click it, right? Ah, I see. So you reach really far with it. The charge. used that ah, sword seems pretty cool Yeah, it does help with the movement issue a lot. It's true. The sword. More enemies killed! Two level ups. Five hundred and ninety-five? You get so much material now. The hammer with opportunistic is actually quite a nice combo with the druid there. Yeah. It's true. It's true, they they work well together. Oh look at that triple production armory. Holy shit, we're about to get some stuff, boys. Oh, 
Armor maker, what you got for me? 17% accuracy? Even the basic pants seem pretty decent now. 34 armor, accuracy. I, yeah, objectively better for this guy. Vivienne is using ordinary fur pants. Fur pants plus four. Good upgrade. Could check this store, I guess, first, but. Mm. Yeah, Vivienne will get better accuracy now. It's nice. It's nice. Critical. And huge armor, huge health. Crit armor? Didn't we get like an epic crit armor on the. Uh, on this person though? Yeah. So we don't have better than that. But for Vivienne, where are you? There you are. For the gun lady, could be nice. More crits. Because if I get one critical hit with a gun, then I will be uh, completing my challenge. And what is this? Big block. Yeah, big speed loss though, true. Maybe I can build a tower or something. I can't really unlock it yet though, I'm close. Bum, 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 bum. I'm losing some movement speed, but getting a bunch of block and armor seems okay on... Uh... On Julia. Uh, steel helm plus two, block six, move points plus one, momentum seven, crit power. Um, do we know someone who could possibly want a steel helm of crit? Do we have such a candidate, guys? Chloe? Yep. Mithril hand crossbow, though. Plus two. That could be a pretty good upgrade for our crossbow guy. We're still using a shitty crossbow. I feel like the damage is lacking on our crossbow right now. This is actually pretty neat damage increase. Yeah, it will make the blaze like so much stronger. Oh, there's a ring. A crit ring. Crit power ring. Yes, it was long ago, Shako. Hmm. Hard to say. Probably the crossbow for the crossbow uh, person though. So we get a decent weapon. More weapons. Physical damage plus. Yeah, this seems pretty shit. All this is pretty shit. Propagation damage, dodge accuracy. Yeah. Okay, let's equip some stuff. You get the crossbow. You don't have a backup weapon, right? Right. Um, but we're gonna give you some armor. No. 
think someone is getting this armor though. You? Yeah, Julia was getting this. Big crit armor. Right, this was minus movement speed, but... So we will lose two movement points to do this. We'll have five movement points. You'll be slow as shit. Huge crit though. Maybe... Is it better than the crit armor, uh, crit armor we had on Crit Dwarf? Where's my Crit Dwarf? Here we are. Yeah, that's also minus. No, 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 it's just a better... Or it's just worse, I mean. Um... I mean, you'll be slow, but maybe the person with the gun can just, like, stand there and shoot. I don't know. Is it so bad? Accuracy? Every time I check the stream, it's day 7. What's going on? <laughs> well, we're back to day 7, I guess. I like accuracy increase on this. Move points increase is also good. Counteracts what we just did. At least then you have enough move points to jump over a wall and jump back again afterwards. That's pretty key. Let's take that. A pretty key number to reach. You have insane mana regen, so I don't know about thrifty. We also don't use that much mana on you. I would take confident, but you lost like a million HP by equipping this thing. Maybe crit power. You don't really need that. If you crit, you kill. You kill anyway. Don't need more. So what do you need? What do you need then? Crit chance? Yeah, but same thing there. Doesn't really need it so badly. Always need more. Higher number, more you're doing it. Yeah, I mean, crit chance we can increase, but crit power? Like, that's the damage of a crit. We don't really need to increase that at the cost of base attack. Cheer is pretty good. Yeah, actually, cheer is probably the best we can do. 10% damage to someone near you. That's actually really good. What do we roll for you? Pretty bad on this side. Daily mana regen plus 5. Experience gain plus 20% again. What the fuck? The power leveling. 160% experience gain? I mean, we'll take the XP. Let's go big. And we're gonna gamba. Oh, yeah, maybe we take block. 6% block is not that bad to have, I guess. Yeah, we'll take block. Might still be nice to have some form of survivability in case you get shot a lot or whatever. I don't even know what enemies exist now that we go this far into the game. I could have, could have you become a specialist. Uh, 
I'm enjoying this spear right now, but I could have you become a specialist or first blood, actually. Yeah, let's do first blood. Bum bum ba dum bum. We could upgrade the store and have a look again. 15% crit power, 3% range damage, 3% critical. A pistol? Pistol shot, grappling shot, grape shot. Could be interesting to try, yeah. I'll probably buy it buy it and try it for that. Let's see how it is. Oh, magic hat with multi hits. Multi hits for crossbow lady. Five percent damage trading for multi hits is great trade for you. Alright, we'll try the pistol on uh, our dwarf. He could do with two shields, actually. Why did I call her a dwarf? Probably because he had a hammer. Has hammer? Must be dwarf. Everything must go, but there's no shields. We buy another hero? I could, but there's only one more hero available and it costs a bit to do it. We might do it, but... First off, I'm gonna work gold and I'm gonna push back the fog. And I think I'm gonna upgrade my scavengers camp so we can get more stuff there. Could work here and try and get one more armor. Let's do that. High tier armor. Stun. That's a shield, but it's minus reliability. Minus reliability, but it's 19 block and 35 health. 19 block? That's a lot. Put down the dwarf, I guess? Who is now officially the dwarf. Even with minus reliability, I mean, that's so much survivability. Twenty-five block, and I don't have to worry so much about you getting hit, actually. Yeah, twenty-five block with hundred and three armor. Dwarf is online. What do we do now? I'm thinking upgrading my ballistas could be next, but maybe I should build like a... I should maybe upgrade my blacksmith. 
So we get better weapons. Yeah. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Two weapons per turn and higher level. Then again, we could not upgrade it and upgrade two houses and then double work it this turn. What do we have? Offhand sword. Plus three. Critical power, 20%. Or an axe, plus three, 7% crit. Inaccurate. Minus accuracy. Axe boomerang. What the hell? Or two handed sword, plus three. I think we're using a plus two right now, so. Yeah, so that, that could be objectively just an upgrade. That's nice. My dwarf does have room for another offhand. What is he using right now? He's using a pistol and his hammer, right? Yeah, the offhand, that's like a secondary, right? Yeah. Okay, let's let's take this. So the offhand sword we can put in here. Oh my fucking god, dude. Look at him. Never mind, no longer a dwarf. Actually a a pirate now. With a pistol in one hand, a sword in the other. Oh my god. And critical power has never been higher. What the fuck is happening, dude? <laughs> Can I see your crit power in some way? Like, crit power, 275%. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, 67% of the time he crits for 275% damage. Okay, okay. Bangalier. Bangalier here. Let's uh, sell some gear. Are all my houses upgraded? No, all my houses are not upgraded. Then upgrade the houses. Worth the gold mine. And then upgrade a mounted ballista. Upgrade this mounted ballista. They're actually triple attacking this time. Triple attack. Yeah, we could go on more info about what's attacking where. Maybe that could have been useful. We need to decide how we defend this then. Um, let's do... Let's do, let's do you up here with you the two of you guys down here and then you're alone over there lady mage lady mage is alone that sounds scary man we should probably buy some potions as well now get whatever we can speed plus three movement points hmm. Get a health potion. 
Let's get the potion of strength. Because that's damage. Sell the focus ring. Buy a mana potion. Dudley, you take the mana potion. Vivian, take a health potion, and for sure, the damage potion is going to you. Julia! This looks scrappy as hell. I love it. the gate why is the gate so low hp Beautiful. My base has never looked better. Didn't unlock the Archer Tower yet? No. Anything new? Anything on new updates? Uh, I don't know. I never played this game until now. I literally played it for the first time yesterday, so I don't know about new updates. I also don't know what these are, but they look like bombs. Boomer? Oh no, it's boomers. Okay, we have a situation here. Triple mage? Three ghosts, I mean? Excuse me? Boomer? What does the boomer do? 151 to 151 damage. Ah, melee. 500 HP? Oh god. Oh god. Multi hit X4. Yeah, I think we just put a huge blaze on this boy. reach to poison the accursed but I'll poison the boomer seems useful too oh yeah we can poison him three times now
Okay, this is much more like over here than I expected. I wanted to down this way. Really? This guy only got poisoned once? Damn. That stinks. The rest of them are pretty poisoned though. They'll all die. Kinda. Kill the boomer before he arrives, I suppose. Try to snipe him. Hey man, the... The fucking sniper is not too bad against ghosts and like important stuff that you want to kill. Feels amazing to have the, the gun. You could get all the way there and then you could run up, try to spear and run away. How far do you get with this? Here. Five. Two moves. Can you... You can't move. You could spear move again, I guess. Yeah, you can go up and tap a little bit. Like this. Okay. No, I did one too short, but it's fine. We still get far away. Look at that mobility. Look at that mobility. Who says melee characters suck, man? Just gotta be uh, flexible. Well, let's see here. What do you have? Grappling shot. What does that mean? Can I can I hook him? Or do I hook to them? Probably more likely. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking here yeah, I'll hook him, but I'll probably hook myself to them. Follow. Moves the hero to a tile of a killed target. Right, so if we kill them, we get there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The gun, the pistol. Yeah, I'm planning on playing, um... I'm planning on playing, uh, Dota today. Ow, the ghosts, he sapped me. Yeah. 
Holy shit, the explosions! You take 80 damage per turn. Okay, good. And these guys are big poison. That boomer is still reaching my base though. And he's gotta do like big damage to the wall. You gonna blow up the wall? I mean, we could try and stop him, I guess. Boom. He takes... Okay, he needs one more hit on him. He's dead. I gotta go hide behind the wall, because I'm scared. See this little shit. That damage? Yeah, it's good damage down there, isn't it? Isn't it? Slash in. See, this thing is so fast. If you move up once. <laughs> Melee character's bad. Kick W. Maybe if you're a pussy and can't go close to the enemy. You just gotta go in and then quickly back again. Enjoy your poison. Prepare your poison. Oh, that's a lot of boomers up in the north. I see four boomers. Yeah, this flank is uh, dangerous right now. You still die next turn. I think it's time for a damage potion plus a big propagate nuke in here. Did 
This could bounce the wrong way though. If it bounces up. Hmm. Ah, even so. It bounced the wrong way, but it's okay, it's okay. We'll do another propagate in there. The poison damage is not amped by damage potion, worth uh, noting. Just uh, learning experience and all. Can't actually get one more over there. Okay, just shoot what can then. Oh god, here they come! More enemies. Like that guy. Maybe if I can shoot these two, isolate them somehow. <laughs> He's isolated. Get him now. Still pretty tanky. But we crit. Very nice. Oh, we blew up the boomer. Nice. Boomer got boomed. Yeah, exploding the boomers is a big thing, huh? So two steps forward. Oh, we almost blew up the boomer immediately. Um... Hmm. Let's think about how we do that then. Forward and then propagate from this. I mean, when it blows up, it blows up for 150. So that blows it up. Don't want to hit probably this guy multiple times. Wait, am I missing a chair here? No, I didn't. Didn't miss it. Okay, good. Like this. Okay, he died already on second shot. Oops. Whoops, but it's fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
The sword of the heavens. Probably didn't need to poison him since we ended up being able to explode him. We finally figured out how propagate works. It bounce. It bounce. That's all there is to say. My ballistas are starting to do some serious work now. Four moves. Do this twice. This flank is holding pretty easily. Thinking if we should go and assist, but uh, I think let's just keep killing here. there he needs to die this boomer how to do this no the screen shake is not too much in a game like this you need all the screen shake Five hundred damage in a single hit? That's an achievement! We just unlocked an achievement. Or, not achievement, but, you know. A thing. That we're supposed to do. Oh, was it ranged? Maybe it's ranged. Okay, cool. Then we can still do it. That works too. I forgot it was ranged. Boomer blows stuff up next to him anyway, so using the explosion there is not so good. Yeah, I haven't quite done 500, I think. Oh, 
Okay, let's nuke so the boomer dies for sure. How far have we gotten so far? This is it. Night eight. This is the farthest I've gotten. Oh, the axe man he just cleaves your wall down. Holy shit. That's not okay. We're just shooting limbs off you? Could have cheered, I guess. Could still cheer. Let's try and isolate him. Could not isolate him. Unless. Oh, we did! We did isolate him. Giga shot! 600 damage with a range attack! Now that surely has to do it. Oh, I see a value boomer here. Quite happy with the results. Yep. I think you could be. Get that boomer! Who's that boomer? Get him! One more shot. And one more multi-hit here. Can do... Yeah, I like this. Wait, can he even be targeted? He can be targeted. Um, then going like here. Nice. Another boomer down. Uh, Gorgundian, I would say I probably... I mean, both are really good games, but I would probably say I prefer this game over Across the Obelisk, just if I was to recommend one. This game is really fun. That guy has to die because he's shredding my wall. He actually reaches the wall? What the fuck is wrong with you? What's your speed? Get out of here. Four AP remaining. That's on this guy, right? This guy, yeah. 29 enemies remaining. Almost all of them are in the southeast, so we should probably send some backup.
Send for backup. Would be nice to have these teleporter thingies now. Another boomer that has to die right there. I see him. He's trying to hide behind the group of friends, but he's gonna go down with him. One step to the side, and then we can fucking spl splitters, dude, or splitters, splitters. They hit so hard. Um, maybe I just slow down here. Yeah, slow. Take the movement points away. I'll start killing you. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can start running, I guess. Fourteen AP remaining. The Ballista though! She's alone, but she has her friends. The Ballista. Big screen shake. That means that we're doing a lot of damage, guys. Actually saved by upgraded ballista? Of course. The ballista are popping off. They're helping. All ballista shooting same targets? Seems okay to me. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. Come up here and then Wait, no, this thing is... God damn it, this is like directional. I forgot. God damn it, he can't reach. All right, well, you get the kills then. The first kill of a druid staff does uh, quite a lot more damage if the enemy is debuffed, for instance, uh, by slow of the same staff. Yeah, I know that. I know that, but the first skill of the book that she has does a lot more damage than the first skill of the druid staff, even with that effect. So in general, that's still the stronger option of the two. But you're right. More materials, more stuff. So much essence. Cast four skills provided by torso items. Oh yeah, I guess we did. We blocked. How are you doing today, Gookie? Are you good? Oh my god, look at the rewards. Look at the stuff we get. Materials. Gold. Nice, nice, doing ranked, poggers. Reinforced medium armor. Offhand magic orb. 
Crit power? Crit power on an offhand, you say? Also, what the hell is this? Death ray? Nanny. Is death ray even good? I don't know. I'm trying to understand how it means they targets, but. I mean, this armor is pretty good for like, I don't know, someone perhaps, or well, maybe not. We have pretty good armors. Crossbow guy? Crossbow guy could use this though. Minus movement speed. Uh, coming slower stinks a little bit, but it's a lot of armor. It's 6% more crit. I don't know, the offhand magic orb sounds good. Can't Dudley use that? Before we take anything here. Or not Dudley. Uh this guy. Instead of a shield. Like, yeah, we get a lot of block, but we could sacrifice our shield and take even more crits. And then every single weapon he has will be crit. <laughs> Let's uh, do this thing first. Hey, Skydex! How are you doing? Ooh, boo. Hey, 500 physical damage in a single hit. Oh, we did that in the same turn. 500 range damage in a single hit. Nice. Survive. Yes. Get traps now. Cute traps. Ah, yeah, yeah. The old glass cannon build. Yes. 7.2k. Hmm. Watchtowers are cool. They do sound kind of cool. They sound pretty useful. Oh, cycle through new stuff. Right, they have a button for it. Oh shit, there's a 20,000 AP plus one. <sighs> Oh shit! More AP? You know I'm a sucker for AP. Or catapults. I mean... AP equals OP. Yeah, in a game like this, AP, I mean... It's just so nice. Catapults kind of suck, do they? I don't know, man. I I'm willing to all in on this and just try and get it by the time we... By the time we generate new heroes. Hmm. We need 13,000 more before our next run to have it. Kind of rough, but we'll try. We'll start working on it. We'll take the crits. Armor maker, what do you do? Hmm. 
Mm, we'll probably just take this and sell it, I guess. Actually, higher sell value on the left one. Hey! Steel sword plus three! Or vicious boots, isolated 21 and isolated 20. Uh, where's my gun? Yeah, you get isolated 41%. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very nice. Very nice for you, I believe. More pieces of armor. That's a really nice pair of steel greaves. Thirty percent crit power. Uh, crit boy is here. Why did we give you the propagation bounces? I don't think that was even intentional, because you don't have anything that propagates. Why do you have them? They were intended for someone else to begin with. Uh, yeah, let's do this, I think. I mean, yeah, they, they are critical, 9%, so I get that. Hmm. Then again, I mean, maybe these are worse for him, actually. Because, yeah, crit, crit and accuracy... Yeah, the crit is still nice, because as long as he crits, he kills. It's pretty much, like, guaranteed. Crit equals kill. Then maybe these are better, because then you get more crit and more accuracy. And then the ones you have can go to someone else. A 10% crit shield. Plus one AP? <gasps> what is this? Action points and poison damage. Yo, yo, where is where is Julia? Yeah, I believe this is a little bit better for you. Plus move, plus AP, plus thirty percent poison damage. This is wonderful for you. Absolutely wonderful. Move and poison damage might still be better on the crossbow guy, even. What does he have? Crit and dodge. Yeah, I think it's better. He doesn't need crit that bad. One move, 30% poison damage. Because he applies poison to people quite a lot. Eight mana as well. Sure. So that was for you, Julia. This one is for you. These are propagation ones, so they could go on someone with propagation like this guy. And then the isolated on this guy. Jesus, dude, we're getting strong. I can feel it. Ten percent crit power. Yes, we take that instead of your shield. So he lost he lost his block, but even more crit damage. Oh yeah. Then leveling. What are you? You're the range guy. Um, accuracy seems good. Dodge physical re mm, reroll. 
Reroll. Oh, crit. Nice. Saved. Critical. Maybe critical. Yeah. First blood. And then Julia. Magic damage. Always solid. Like reliability on you. Let's do magic damage on her first, I think. Poison damage? We don't have poison damage available, it's physical. We could try and roll for it, but I think magic damage. Magic damage first. What were you saying about the the perk for the other guy? I guess we could have taken the poison perk on him, if that's what you're referring to. Yeah, that's true. Could have taken that. We already have poison perk on this. Mm hmm. Uh, do, 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 do. Could do lone wolf on her. Like she's honestly playing alone a lot. But I'll probably try and get a last hero as well right now. So I don't know if I want it to be her being alone. It's worked so far, but I'm not super confident that she will keep being alone. I think just first blood maybe. Critting the enemy. There are four sides to defend soon, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's have it, right? Ten tiles. I mean, she's a very strong solo character. She's a beast. This is our crit lord, who gets, again, crit percentage increase. I like it. And then we could do healing received rare, no. Uh, Reroll. Accuracy ain't bad, but... I feel like we could try and get better. Or we don't. Okay, we got worse. But we tried. I don't know, 6% accuracy is not enough that I want to go for it there. Could still go coagulation on this character to get real fucking tanky. Oh, the crit mana taunt? Yeah. Crit Maltant and spam the death ray thingy? I guess so. More crit when the enemy are full HP? <laughs> Fucking 86% chance to crit? <laughs> yeah, I think we have to take that, dude. That's too much fun. 86% crit chance on full HP enemies. Uh, range damage, yes. Then again, we have crit there too. Let's see what we have. Poison is garbage. Let's just do ordinary damage increase. And Gamba? Accuracy, good. Good, good. Accuracy, very nice. Oh, 
confident. You're never full HP though. I have no idea what we want on this character. Actually no idea. Maybe armor when standing next to something? You have a lot of armor too. It's not really like you need armor. Thrifty? Think so? I, I mean, the character has 11 mana region and barely any mana sink. But maybe we can get mana sink in the future. Unlocks the mark skill, allowing to debuff an enemy with minus 30% dodge. Uh, maybe mark. I've never used it. Could be interesting to try. Minus dodge is really good for this character. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Okay, that was all the characters. Epic weapons, maybe. Big hammer, offhand dagger. It's only got one attack and it's perforate. Two handed sword plus four. Oh, that's an upgrade. Sure. Sure, sure. We'll take a lot stronger two handed sword. You get traps, I think. Yeah, I think we unlock traps now. Damage trap damages the target and surrounding tiles triggered when an enemy ends their movement on it Stun trap slow trap Okay Well, you know what chat? I think That's gonna be it for uh, This game I need to take a little bit of a break and then the plan is to play some Dota afterwards um, but I need a few minutes to compose myself so yeah, that's gonna be it for now. We got pretty far. This is run number five. Run number five, and we are looking fairly strong. Yeah, a casual 10 hour stream to warm up before Dota, exactly. Well, that's exciting. We are strong. I'll be right back guys, I need a bit of a break. I'm also burning up, it's so fucking warm in here. So, uh, see you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching.